Hi guys, welcome back to We Are Tottenham TV for the live watch along of Aston Villa versus Tottenham Hotspur. I'm here with Amir. How are you, mate? I'm doing really well, Barnaby. Really well. Really pumped up for this one. Yeah. It's a huge game. You know, a lot at stake here up at Villa Park. And yeah, I'm raring to go. Loving having Pedro Porro back as well in the starting line. Yep, totally. We'll go through the lineup in a minute. I just want to ask first, though, we've talked basically all season and actually off the back of last season about how important it could be for Tottenham Hotspur that they're not playing in Europe this season. Mm. And they may come up against some uh, teams who have had to do the kind of Thursday, Sunday disaster. This is, for me, I think our first opportunity to see if that really does um, ring true. And Ange Postacoglu said, I think about 10 days ago, that actually he'd be prefer uh, preferring to play more games to have more rhythm. What do you think about it? Look, I always want to be in Europe, you know. So for me, I'm with Ange. I want to play as many games as possible. And if that means being in the Champions League next season and getting this fourth place, then that's what I'm looking to do. Whether we can take advantage of the Thursday night that Villa had over in Holland, I'm really hoping so. They're going to be a bit tired. They're coming back from the flight. Um, we always know that tiredness can play, you know, a bit of a factor in these games. And I'm hoping that they're coming back with, uh, you know, stodgy legs and, and we can get at them. That, yeah. That's the that's the hope. Quite possibly. I guess the little caveat is they did play the early game. So it was a mm. five-block kickoff and it was only in Amsterdam. Which is and probably he dropped players. He dropped I players for it. He's made three changes today. Actually, let's. we'll start with the Spurs uh, 11. Vicario in goal. Like you said, Poro back for Emerson Royal, which is mm. great. Romero and Van der Ven taking up their usual uh, centre-back partnership. Destiny Doggy on the left. Then Bissouma. Saar comes back in for Bentoncourt. Uh, we can discuss whether we think that might be to try and keep Bentoncourt away from Matty Cash or not. Uh, James Madison in the kind of eight slash 10 roll and then the other kind of big change Johnson in for Werner on the left Kulisevsky on the right and Sonny up front so in terms of that um, Saar coming back in for Bentoncourt for me I think it's probably about legs and the engine but what, what do you think yeah that's what I think I don't think it has to do with the Matty Cash thing maybe it's like a small little thing in the back of his mind thinking that he'd rather have but I think it's like you said it's Saar's engine there the legs that he's got he runs that midfield when he's on form Saar's mm. probably you know barring Van der Ven and Vicario our best player I'd say yeah and this basically is the 11 that we started the season so well with it, except for Johnson in on the left. That's the only real change, it isn't is. it? It is. Whereas it was uh, Richarlison on the and left and Son and up Son. front, and then that switched yeah. round yeah. and they got injured. Uh, let's go through the Aston Villa side now as well. As I said, they've made three changes from the team that drew nil nil in Amsterdam on Thursday night against uh, Jordan Henderson's Ajax. Uh, Emmy Martinez in goal, and they are a uh, Sky were earlier suggesting they're going to play a four four two. There is obviously a chance for them to play potentially a three five two as well, but. We're saying concert at right back, Torres and Longley with Luca Dean at left back, and then Matty Cash potentially playing right side of midfield with Douglas Luiz, John McGinn, and Yuri Tielemans, and then up top Watkins and Bailey. But like I said, it could easily fit into a 3 5 2. I think it? it'll be a 3 5 2. I don't think it'll be a 4 4 2. Uh, Obviously, Longley does suit that left sided centre half role he more does. than playing he does. in the four. And Emery, Emery's a very um, tactical manager, so he might look at that, you know, Spurs up front. Got some real quality there that can hurt you. Sonny, the pace, Johnson. So maybe he's thinking he'll stick three there at the back and just a little bit more solidity and do what he did at, uh, at the lane and try and catch us on the break. Yeah. Is, um, is that where you think this game is going to be uh, won or lost then in terms of, I think you said before we started on, on air today, being clinical and then also whether we can take the chances we didn't take at home and uh, maybe whether we can keep out a few of the, the chances we did give away. I think that's what it's going to come down to, Barnaby. We know that we always concede chances, right? And we know we have a, a top-class um, keeper at the back who will make some great saves. The, it all comes down to whether we're clinical up top. If we were clinical in the home game, we would have, you know, we would have probably won by a couple of goals even. Yeah. The fact that we weren't cost us and they managed to get back in it. So I'm looking for the, the lads up top to really show me today that they can do the business, they're well up for it. This is what I call a six point. Uh, it's not a decider yet because there's still quite a few games to go mm. in the season. But we don't want to be going eight points behind them, no. even though we would still have a game in hand. But we don't, don't, especially with that run of games we've got in, in April coming up. Am I right in remembering that the home game was just after the Chelsea game? It was in that few games just after yeah, the Chelsea game. After. So we had suspensions yeah. and the injuries yeah. from then. Yeah. So we should definitely, you know, we've got a much uh, stronger first team out today. Also should mention the bench, so the options, I want to ask you about the options we've got to come off the bench. So obviously Austin in goal, Dragosheen, Ben Davis, Emerson Royal, then Pierre, Emil Hoiberg, Rodrigo Bentancourt, Gio Lo Celso, Timo Werner and Dane Scarlett. 
There are some options there to make attacking changes if needed. A lot of talent there. There's a lot of talent mm. on that bench, and you know, you, you, you've got players that can come on and affect the game. If we even need to shore things up a bit, you've got the right players there. If we need a bit more creativity, the players of La Celso, you know, can come on. Werner can really hurt them with their pace. So uh, when I see the team that we've got, I think, you know, we can really go out there and test them today. There's no reason that we shouldn't go out there and, and fight for this win. One of the key things that I'm looking at, apart from being clinical up at the top, is that defence. So we've actually got all the players that we want in yeah, there, yeah. including Basuma. So the, the 10 games where we were incredible, yeah. he's back. I'm really looking at those five to see how solid they can be at the back and can they you know, stop the likes of Watkins and Bailey getting in. Yeah. It's going to be crucial. And also, uh, Villa have beaten, obviously, Man City at home and Arsenal at home. Uh, and a lot of that was about their kind of suffocating press. And you said you talked about having the kind of the, the back line and Bissouma that we want there. A lot of it is going to be, a, are we able to beat that press? Are we able to use the bravery that Ange is instilling in the team? to beat that press and therefore make those chances for ourselves. Whilst obviously, you know, we did that successfully in the home game, even though we had um, uh, suspensions and injuries, but weren't able to finish off our chances. But this will be different because obviously the crowd at Villa Park will be really up for it. I, I saw um, uh, one an interview with one of the Villa players, I think it was John McGinn saying, we are aware that this is the biggest, potentially the biggest game in Aston Villa's recent history. Oh, wow. So um, they're going to be pumped, but hopefully that pumpness will be negated by a little bit of fatigue from the Thursday night game. Um, you mentioned uh, Timo Werner a bit. He's obviously had a, having a rest for Brennan Johnson, who's coming in on the left. I have said before uh, that I don't think Johnson is as comfortable on the left. However, he's had a good run of kind of, I think, two or three assists and a goal in the last few games coming off the bench. Super sub. He should be pretty pumped for it. Maybe a bit more confidence will lead him to drive at his defender on the left. I really hope so. I'm, I'm, I mean, we haven't seen that much of him on the left. We saw a little bit at the start of the season, if I can remember, and he did OK. Yeah. Um, but I think specifically for this game, he's been brought in for that really intense pressing and hunting the ball down. I think that's what Ange is going to ask of him today. Apart from getting the goals and the assists, that's going to be a big part of his game today. Yeah. And I'm really looking for the kid to step up because I think, you know, he's had a lot of critics uh, come in for him this season. It was obviously a huge price tag, but that's mm -hmm. nothing to do with him. Um, so I'm really expecting him to, to have a good game today, to continue um, his, his great form. And if he can nick a goal, fantastic. You yeah. know? His numbers, actually, for someone who has not played that much this season, they're actually pretty good in terms of goals and assists. So. Yeah, and I've, I've been saying all season, he's had to play a lot more games than he would have expected to and, and more than Ange would have expected him to. Obviously, as you well know, uh, I'm a very superstitious person. I like to talk about the script. Uh, I think there are a lot of potential script negative possibilities today. Matty Cash to Ooh. score against us, I would say, would be one. Obviously, Easy. Clement Longley. We were linked with Pau Torres for a long time. Yeah, uh, McGinn always scores against us, I think. And uh, then one thing to talk about on top of that, obviously, Ollie Watkins in inspired form. I think uh, something ridiculous, like over 25 goals and assists this season. Oh, yes, like 16 How highly goals. do you rate him? Oh, fantastic player. Uh, he can do it all. And I think in terms of his footballing brain, it's, he is fantastic. He, he knows when's the right time to pass, when it's the right time to take on a player and shoot. Uh, it's had a fantastic, I'd say, standout season this season. Yeah. I think it's 16 goals and 10 assists or something like that. Something crazy. Um, so Would he be a player you'd be interested in Spurs? I, I don't think we could get a player like that off Aston Villa at the moment necessarily, but if, if we had a huge clump of money there to offer them, would you would you go for him over, say, a, an, an even Tony? He'd be someone I'd be looking at. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. And in terms of like attitude and stuff, I'd probably pick Watkins over Tony, to be quite yeah, honest with you. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, the players are now out on the pitch. Uh, Sky are just going through the roll call of the lineups. Where do you see the dangers other than Ollie Watkins? So you mentioned uh, Leon Bailey. He's been on fire this season. He's been on fire, really improved his game. Uh, I think he also has a really good attitude from from what I've seen in press conferences, really put his head down, focused on his game. And yeah, he, he's, you know, he's fantastic, goes left, goes right, can take a man on. And this season, he's proved that he can finish as well. Yeah. Um, so really improved his game. Villa's he's been, be Villa, sorry to interrupt, but Villa have been quite smart with him, haven't they? Because they signed him up. It feels like over a couple of years ago it was, and they've yeah. really kind of drip fed him into the team and now he seems to be really benefiting from that confidence big time big time and i think another threat there that 
you know, I, the midfielders are really going to have to be alert to um, Basuma in particular. Tiemans has got a rocket of a foot. Yeah. Um, so any shots from outside the box, I'm looking for players like Bissouma, Saar. You've got to make those blocks. Don't let the ball come in. Don't give Vicario anything to do and, and try and stop the ball from coming in in the first place because um, they do have players that can hurt us. And McGinn as well, he's got a wand of a foot. Um, yeah, so and like I said, always out. scores against us. So I'm trying to get the uh, chat up here. We're having some technical problems with the computer. So excuse me that it looks like I'm not interested. I'm just trying to get the chat <laughs> because we want to be able to, to read your chats at the same time definitely, as well, of course. Definitely. We want to hear your thoughts on the lineup as well. You know, big call with Johnson coming in. Um, I think, yeah, you know, especially after Werner got his first goal. Uh, in the last game and played really well was one of our best players so Ange has obviously seen something quite tactical there in my eyes wants that press to be as hard as possible okay, from I've the got, off absolutely I've got the chat up it looks to me like it's a uh, kind of wet and blustery day in Birmingham uh, the Aston Villa team lining up for what looks like there's going to be some kind of minute silence while Spurs do their huddle um, let's have a listen and see what that's all about it's a minute to applause Okay, an ex-Northern Irish Villa player passed away, unfortunately. So they're doing a, a minute's applause. And Spurs actually a little slow to get to the halfway line for that, which um, isn't a great look, I have to say. But anyway, I'm sure there's nothing malicious in that whatsoever. No, definitely um, not. Boys are showing respect for the... Chris Nickel, it was, ex-Villa player. May you rest in peace. Villa Park, packed to the rafters. Yeah, I can understand why they're saying this is a huge game in the recent history. You've got, to, you've got to think, you know, Aston Villa have never been in the Champions League, haven't played in the European Cup since probably the 80s. In Long fact, time. since definitely the 80s when they, they won it. Did they not in the early 80s? Very impressive. And oh, they're a team with a lot of pedigree in the past as well. A lot of uh, cup wins and, and, you know, they're really on the up and up with Emery. And I think that, yeah. you know, Arsenal kind of did him dirty the way they got rid of him so quickly. They didn't really give him enough of a chance. And you're seeing what a great manager he is. And if I'm not mistaken, he's won a couple of Europa Leagues. Oh, so he's won loads of Europa yeah, Leagues. Yeah, there Seville. Go. There you go. Um, game about to kick off. Come on, Tottenham. Come on, you Spurs. Villa are lining up in a in a kind of back five. So a little five three two. How will Spurs break through that in in any difference to a, a kind of four? Like, what will they have to do? Surely you'd think that the the kind of three centre backs will be. They'll be just marking Sonny, really. So it'll be about Sonny trying to move them about. It will, it will. It'll be looking for the gaps and trying to get in behind, find that space in behind and, and get as many men forward. Make sure that we're taking oh. shots from outside the box. Ooh. It was a lovely little interception for Mickey van der Ven, but then he kind of rested on it a little bit and then it was nearly taken. But Spurs bit have frantic, an offside. A bit frantic here in the first 30 seconds. Yeah. Sonny loves a goal against Villa, doesn't he? He scored one when he had a broken arm, if I remember he rightly. Indeed. He did doggy indeed. on the ball now. I hope doggy has got his long studs on because he's been slipping around a lot and I've been complaining about it over the past few weeks. Uh, but we have the ball now with Van der Ven laying it out to Romero. You can hear the Spurs fans so loud at the moment. But It's still quite a high line that Villa are playing there. Uh, they'll it? always play the high line, yeah. Look at that. There's lots Sonny of space coming deep. in behind. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about there. So Sonny just came and picked the ball up basically in our own half. And... Um, you know, if you're one of the three centre-halves with Villa, you're thinking, oh, well, I'm not going to follow him all the way out there. I can see Villa winning the Conference League this season, by the way. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. And actually, it might not be a bad thing because the way that West Ham make out like it's a big deal. If, if an England team wins it, English team wins it every year, then it, it takes a little bit of kudos away from West Ham for you know they chant that they're champions of Europe well I'll be hoping my boys Maccabi can uh, do us a favour and kick them out of the Conference League how about that yes that would be good big 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 night for Robbie Keane out in uh, Greece on Thursday night getting the win over there 4-1 Huge. Who was that? Sorry, Robbie Keane. He's managing uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv. Is he? Yeah. yeah oh, amazing. Yeah. So I did not win know that. For him. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah that's huge great. Huge win. Well that, done to Robbie. Well done, Bissouma. Just stood up there when Leon Bailey was uh, having a little run. He could have kind of fouled him, which we've we've been giving away a lot of fouls in those kind of areas. And I'm glad that he stood up. And actually, Bailey ended up uh, kicking the ball out. Oh, that's a bad poor ball pass from Saar. Was it Biss? It was. It was Saar uh, oh, into yeah. Poro. Um, sorry, it was Poro into Saar. Was it? No, Saar into Poro, yeah. 
but uh, it's gone off, I think, for a, a Spurs throw, is it? No, a Villa throw on the left-hand side. Just feels a little bit sloppy from Spurs. Maybe the rain is having an effect on... Yeah, it's uh, a bit of rain. On the, on it's the a play. Slick, slick surface, that's for sure. Sonny's chasing them down here. Yeah. Johnson as well. Full press is on. That's it, Johnson. Go on, nick it. Yeah, ah, it did well there, Brennan nearly, Johnson. Nearly. It, it goes off for a goal kick, but he gets a little foot in there. And uh, You know, if we got a bit more lucky, we could have had a little That's what chance. you want. That's what you want him to do. It's a really good play there. Very interesting. It's a very, going to be a very tactical game. You can even just see from Villa's goal kick here. Just kind of we're kind of goading Villa into, are you going to play it long? Goes to Cash. He does well to... I'll Great challenge. Oh, he's that wasn't. That was never a foul. But Johnson there pressing Cash and gets a good slide in tag from behind, but the ref says that he caught... Cash first. Maybe there was a little pullback just before he, the, the slide tackle came in. The commentator has just mentioned, you know, the talk of revenge on Matty Cash because of what he did to two Spurs players over the last couple of seasons. Do you know what? The biggest revenge is coming home with the three points for Absolutely me. right. That would be my biggest The press has just worked and uh, Udogi picks it up on the sideline, gives it into Madison, back to Udogi. Oh, sunny. And it comes back to Mickey <coughs> van der Ven and comes across to Romero. As ever with these Spurs games, a lot of play, a lot of players in the middle block of the pitch. Nice ball from Madders into a doggy who does well actually in the end. Foul. That would be surely, a foul. Surely, ref. Oh, there were a couple of fouls in there, I thought. But Villa win it back. And Sonny presses again. Oh, here we go. They're really playing risky out the back here, Villa. Yeah, that's that's the, that. This is the game it's going to be. Two sets of risky. Attacking side. Oh, Watkins just got ahead of him. No, one of you's got to go with the other player. Mickey van der Ven. Oh, what absolutely. A challenge. What a challenge by Mickey. And he's absolutely gone through him there, Mickey van der Ven. Gets the ball, and Ollie Watkins is on the floor in agony. What a player van der Ven is. I'm, I'm not saying he tried to injure him, but he's just showing him his weight there, and it was really impressive. He made up about 10 yards, Barnaby. You know, Watkins was through but practically on goal. Yeah, and actually, the Villa fans really complaining. Oh, Lo Sonny's given it away, and now they're going to kick it out. There was a transition opportunity there for it. I tell you, it was the full weight of... He's struggling here, Watkins, in a big way. It might be that it's like a dead leg or something, but he's he's writhing on the floor. And you're absolutely right. Van der Ven just made up a load of space. Romero was a little lackadaisical there. Watkins nips in ahead of him, and then <laughs> it's a 50-50, and Van der Ven just plows through him. Did he Let's see where the impact is. Yeah, it's knee on knee, isn't it? It's knee on knee. It's his right knee. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's struggling here. Well, it's never a pen, is it? No, no, it's not a penalty. It's a coming together, and Watkins has just come off ten times worse. That's exactly, yeah, because Mickey van der Ven is eight foot tall and about 500 stone. Okay, Watkins looks, looks like he's all right now. It's a big bang. That, to me, showed a little bit of aggression that I like in these games, because Spurs have been bullied in a, a few of these games so far this season. Oh, Cash Matty falls Cash. over. That's oh, what we want. Udogi had a chance to go through him there, but he didn't quite do it. That's a shame. But Van der Ven, <laughs> but Van der Ven uh, showing a bit more strength to uh, Bailey on the right. Spurs have a, an offside. And there's a bit of space in here for Basuma, which is good. I want to see Madders get on the ball a yeah, little bit agreed. more and start controlling this game, pinging agreed. in those balls to Sonny. Come on, Madders, get hold of and, it. That's and it. as you call for that, he comes and gets it off Van der Ven, lays it into Bis. Come on. I really like, I think this feels like the first time we've had Bissouma, Poro, Udogi and Madders playing since that first 10 games. And yeah, I love, like I love how they get near each other and just play those little balls into each other. Kulisevsky now on the right, lays it back to Bissouma. He plays a long it's switch out ball. to Udogi and we've got three over here. Oh, he's made a nice little ball in Sonny. Sonny. Oh, it's, it's nice one little football a, out here. One you got to hit it though. Yeah, but it was on his right, wasn't it? it, it Udogi's strongly left-sided. Great. Oh, Poro's in. Go on. Mm, just kicks it over, kicks it out, tries to cross it, but doesn't get hold of it. But um, nice football from Spurs, just outside the 18 yard box. And there's, there's a lot of space. We've been talking a lot about how Spurs have had to play these deep, low block teams for a long time. But because of the way Villa play, it feels like we've got a lot more space in the midfield. There is. There is. And they're Look able to express here. themselves. Look at this ball in behind. Look, you've got in behind the Villa defence. If the ball's a bit better, yeah. you know, you're creating a fantastic opportunity there. I think Poro. Maybe should have put that in first time. I agree. I agree. 
but it's good signs here, good signs. And we forced them to go long here. Yeah. Mickey van der Ven winning the header, yeah. gone out for a Villa throw. Yeah, that's the first time Villa have been forced to go long. There we go, and the commentator says exactly what Amir said first, showing that Amir is, in essence, a better commentator. Ah, come on now, Barnaby. That's good from Villa, though, but well played in there from, was it Romero? Oh, come oh, off it, I don't Ref. know about that. Come off it's it. It's a foul for Villa from Kulisevsky, but it was Romero basically followed the strike. It came into Watkins' feet. I think it was Watkins. Romero followed him, got a little touch on it. Watkins has gone down again. I think he's coming off Watkins. I don't think he's, I don't think he's fully fit. And Emery shouting at his players a little bit here, telling them what to do. Yeah, the, the Watkins doesn't look comfortable. That's the way I'd say it. He's kind of well, look, got a limp hobbling. on. He's hobbling. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not looking good. Well, that can only benefit us, to be quite honest surely. with you. Surely. Let's hope they don't bring... Go on. That's it. Oh, on. McGinn's done. Come on. No, ref. Oh, this is a joke. He's calling everything against us. Everything. And the co-commentator's agreeing, saying that to me is not a foul. It's not It's brilliant fight. from Basuma. He's won the it's ball absolutely back. absolutely brilliant from he's Basuma. He's won the ball back. So what happened is that basically they played it into McGinn in midfield and Basuma's all oh. over him like a rash and he's won the ball and we would be in about four on, on two. On the edge of their box. On the edge of their box and the ref has called it a foul and it wasn't. But great stuff from Basuma. But you know what, Barnaby? This is why people get so frustrated with the refereeing and everything that's going on. I don't know if you saw what happened last night with the Havarts and the, the yeah, diving. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, well, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, for goodness sakes. Was there not a more obvious dive? And surely, the, rule, the by the letter of the law, that's a second yellow. You shouldn't be on the pitch. Yeah, and I read somewhere that basically, the re I didn't see this, but that the referee went towards him, point, going towards his pocket, and then saw that it was Havertz and stopped himself. Absolutely. Because he doesn't want to be a ref to send someone off for a Do second. You know but what? Which, which I would understand more if it wasn't for the fact that obviously we lost Basuma for that exact thing. So, yep. But anyway, as you said a minute or two ago, really good signs from Spurs here. Spurs absolutely in the ascendancy in terms of being on the front foot and, and getting the press going. And Brennan doggy. plays it into a doggy down the left. He gets an early cross. Ball. Chance. Oh, oh, just doesn't fall for Kulisevsky at the back post. But that is the... Unlucky. Kulisevsky now crosses it. Finish. Oh. Oh. Lovely stuff from Spurs. Lovely, really lovely stuff football. from Spurs. Really good football. Johnson, Johnson now on the left with a bit of space. Will he drive at him? On. Oh, lovely stuff. Cuts inside again and lays it into Saar. Will he have a dig? No, he's going to... Oh, oh, nice idea. Unlucky, okay, unlucky, transition unlucky. chance for Villa here. We've got to be careful. And Romero cuts oh, out a long ball. It. Romero, fantastic. And Destiny fantastic in a good position. In there. Destiny gets out to Kulusevsky. Spurs really showing their teeth here early doors. It's great to see. This is form we haven't seen it's from Spurs for a long time. Similar to the first time. game. Similar yeah, to is. the first game. We're all over them here. Uh, we've had about 80% possession, I'd say. I haven't seen the stats, but Villa have barely touched the ball. But... As with any Premier League game, you've got to make the most of any time when you're in the ascendancy. True. Comes back to Vicario, who lays it out to Romero. Villa playing that back five, it's, it kind of it seems at the moment, and I'll say only at the moment, like it's not really suiting them because obviously they're still trying to play the high line, but they've got so many players there that we've got so much space in midfield, it feels like. Mm. Like outnumbering them kind of four, five to three in midfield, it feels like at the moment. And Sonny coming deep as well, which is, I think, confusing them a bit. Romero lays it out to Decky. Got to win something there. Oh, I've lost the ball. Not good. Christian, good strength from Romero. Gets it back to Vicario. And I think Watkins' injury maybe affects him a little bit there. And Vicario plays it into Biss, who gets it straight back out to Christian Romero. Needs an option and Ooh, wins a nice That freak. was tasty by Watkins there. Surely that's yeah, a yellow card. Yeah, you would think that would be a yellow card. And it, won't, it was on Romero, and he won't forget. <laughs> no, he won't. I think he wanted that foul, though, there, Romero. Yeah, it's not good. He's left a, li on a, a little a bit on him card. there. That's a yellow card. I'm sorry. Anywhere else on the pitch, that's a yellow card. Okay, Spurs have the ball again. That was the first time where Villa kind of pressed us into having to do something a little bit risky. Do you see what I mean? They're not really pressing us on our first line of defence at all. Vicario's got all the time he wants. They're just... No, they're not pressing at all. They're not pressing at all. They're letting us have the ball. Well, Van der Ven with a good Go ball on, into Sonny. Go on, Sonny. That's it. Lovely from Brennan Johnson. Put him in. Put him in. Oh, he delayed oh, the ball yeah, there. It, he delayed think, it. You know, I think it might have got cut out. It looked like there was a chance to, but... Great. I love the fact that Johnson was confident first off and took his man on. That was great. As in beaten with a little bit of mm. quick feet. Uh, mm. Quick feet. Comes back to Romero and to Mickey van der Ven, who's got Udogi. 
and it comes out to him. Lovely stuff from Spurs into BJ again. Brennan Johnson, that's the first time nice. I called him BJ. I don't like it. <laughs> nice idea from Johnson there. Saar made a run, but it didn't quite come off. Don't let me call him BJ again. I'll Absolutely try awkward. to, I'll try to. Got overexcited there. 12 minutes gone. Either Martin Brennan or Johnson. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Choose. You choose. I think I'm mostly just calling Brennan Johnson. Okay. okay, and Martinez goes long. They're looking for the old Man City down the middle, and there is a big gap there, but Porro is... is great, great recovery play there by Porro. And a good ball back to Porro from Vicario. Oh, yeah. It's a great ball. Spread the play really well there, Porro. You doggy. Madders. So the co-commentator is saying that Spurs look sharper, quicker, and more fluid. They've just Sky just putting up a stat that's saying the fewest touches on the pitch. The top five are all Villa players. Go on. Oh, lots of space here for Pedro it. Porro. Sars made a There's good run here, but that, that's too quick. There's, uh, There's a, so much space in behind here, and if if we can pick out one of these runners from midfield, we're in. There is, but the problem is going to be as well as Villa's high line, is that on a skiddy, wet pitch mm. like it is today, it's got to be the perfect it's pass, perfect. especially if it's aerial. It's always going to skid through to the keeper. This is one of those games where I tell the players just shoot, 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 shoot. You never know what happens on a, on a slippery surface. The ball can just bounce up, bounce in, bounce off the pe keeper's gloves. Yeah. Kulisewski, long leg just beats Kulisewski there with the pass, which is a shame. And now Villa have kind of beaten the press a little bit here. This is better from Villa now through the midfield. And brilliant from back. Kulisevsky there. Just Unlucky. nicked in on Pau Torres as he's trying to play a through ball over the top of us. And they've got space down the right here. But the out. ball's going to go off, is it? No, it's just stayed on, but Van der Ven has... Pure, <laughs> oh pure quality god. by Van der Ven Oh my there. god. Oh my god, Basuma, what have you done? Oh no, no, no. He's given the ball away on the edge of our box. Good block from Porro. Basuma just a little bit complacent on the pass there. And they're in at the back, are they? It's over the top. Okay. Huge mistake there by Basuma. So Basuma's just trying to play the ball across his box to find a man, and it just comes off the right-hand side of his foot straight to the... Yeah, it's a te really just a bad bit of technique there from Bis. But Spurs did defend it well. Good block from Porro, and Basuma gets back in. Porro's really saved us there. Yeah, and also saved by the fact that uh, the pass into, into Cash wasn't great, but key... Basuma's then got back on the ball early. That's the key. Get back on the horse. Don't let it trouble you. It happens. Do you know, oh. it's annoying me how deep Madison's having to come to get on the ball. I want to see Madison in that in, in that 10 space. Oh, lovely from Romero. Beats his man and then plays an unfortunately bad ball. And they might have a little break on here. But Van der Ven does well. Him. And of course, the ref gives the foul. It's never a foul. Never a foul. Get in front of it so they can't play it quickly. But yeah, so just a bit of a worry that Madison's having to come so deep to get the ball. We need him affecting affecting the play a bit higher up but, the pitch. But if you think of how far up the Villa backline presses, mm. he, it's kind of he so can't he's pushing him back. It's pushing him back as well. Yeah, I yeah. see. I, I think I, so. I, anyway, I hear that. I hear see. that. Fifteen minutes gone. Villa taking a long time over all their free kicks and stuff here. Oh, so. Villa have a, a good record this season of scoring in between 16 and 30 minutes, which is where we're, we're coming into now. Sky basically trying to write the script for them. We keep pressing them here in their own half. Yeah. Ball's back with Martinez. He's laid it off. Spurs still pressing. They've had oh, to go long. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, Porro, Porro's in a good position there. Oh, Cut careful. Really well. Oh, Pat Mas Masai. It was one of those bouncing balls and he let it bounce. That's going to go off the pitch. That's all right. But you see how he made up for it, Saar, there. Oh. He, he lost the ball, carried on the press, won the ball back. Yeah. Saar throw in. He didn't now. rest on his laurels. He put pressure on them, and that's made them kick the ball off. I honestly, I, you know, maybe I'm a bit biased. Not a bit biased. I'm probably a lot biased here. But I think he's going to go right to the top of world football, Pape Saar. All right. I, I'll tell you who I know is going to go to the top of world Cup football, assuming no injuries, is Mickey van der Ven. Oh, oh so that's already a given there, Barnaby. That's look at, look at Brennan Johnson taking on his man. Fantastic. He's so much more confident Go now. On, keep going. Oh, it's a shame he cut back. He didn't foul, need to cut back. Riff. He's won a foul. Matty Cash fouled Brennan Johnson. One. That's a yellow. But, but once he's beaten one man there, I think he can drive down the line. He can, he can. He was he looking for an option. Back. You can see yeah. him looking for an option, but he's won a good foul here. Now we need Porro to put in one of his fantastic balls. I don't think we, I don't think we put free kicks into the box. Me, I think we try and play it. Do you reckon they do it all? I, it's not saying it's not what I want, but it's what we tend to do. Let's, let's, let's see. see. 
Let's see. No, I you're right. Poro's going to put it in the box. Yeah, I'm glad. It's a great angle. It's yeah, it's a, a wide angle. free kick from the left. The only thing, we don't really have someone up front that's, you know, that clinical in the air. I suppose Kulu's quite big. We need, we need, it needs to be like a Romero or a, a Van der Ven, really. No, he's basically a second striker these days, isn't he, Christian? <laughs> he's so good in the air, isn't he? Yeah. So good. Right, stay on side, boys, and don't whip Come it. on, Poro. Just don't hit the keeper here. Come on, Tottenham. Oh, Sonny's made too early a run there, but he might be available for the seconds. No. It's gone straight onto a Villa head. Now, the, the, rep, well, the big transition chance here for Villa. John McGinn does really well. Oh, and Udogi's made an odd decision there. He looks offside, but Watkins is one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be a goal. Oh, except he tried to set up his mate, but it was offside anyway. It was Poro did beautifully. Yeah. What was that? What was Watkins doing there, though? Very odd. Was it a pass or a shot? I couldn't In even the end, tell. it was a pass. So Poro, look look what Udogi does here, but actually, in the end, it saves Spurs. He stepped po up. And Poro's, you can see yeah. that Poro's happy with it. Yeah, 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 he stepped up. But look, Poro kept working anyway. Very impressive from Poro. Terrible. Oh, Spurs Watkins. have lost the ball again, and now they're in down the left. Oh, and Sara's chopped him down there. That was and silly. I think he slipped. Oh, and he's booking him. <sighs> Honestly, after all the fouls that they've... Oh. Anyway, it's a dangerous free kick for Villa. I think Papsar, if you see the replay, I think he slips here a bit. Yeah, he does. He slips, and as he's falling down, he's taking him down. Yeah. And the co-commentator said it's an accidental tangle. I don't think it's a yellow card. And especially after all the... F like that Ollie Watkins one on Romero. Cash you can't one. say... Look, I don't, I don't agree and uh, believe in, like, conspiracies or that the game is bent or anything like that. But what I will say is it's human nature that if you're refereeing at a place where... You know, there are 40,000 fans, 45,000 fans on one side. You feel the pressure. You, you feel the pressure more. Of you course do. you do. Anyway, good. Uh, Dini, I think, with this free kick, it's a good opportunity, and we're not good at defending set pieces, as we know. 19 minutes gone. Looks like it's going to be McGinn, sorry, or Douglas Costa with a free kick. McGinn with an outswinger. Vic's done Vic well Vicario there. does really well He's there. Well I'm there. pleased that he was brave there. And Off Brent, you go. Oh, Johnson. That's all right. That's all right. Better touch, though, there, and he can go off on one of his yeah. uh, runs. It's a good ball in, though. Yeah, I think I, he could have caught this, but anyway. Do you know what? Better slippery safe day. than sorry. Yeah, slippery day. Better safe than sorry. Villa just getting their way into this game a little bit in the last few minutes. And the, crowd, and the crowd are starting to get up. We need to get back on the ball. Yeah, it's almost as if they've, they've handled the initial onslaught which hasn't really been an onslaught by us i mean we've had we've dominated possession yeah. and we've dominated the play but we haven't created um no we haven't created a big chance they've come for no. the long throw here perhaps Saar does well with it and it comes back out sonny pressing but villa just getting a bit of momentum here johnson does brilliantly on matty cash well done putting his weight in on him there that's good they're ex uh, forest teammates i believe now are they going to go with another long throw um, didn't know that Villa did the old long throw, to be honest. Same colours as Burnley, aren't they? <laughs> Are they Burnley Close in disguise? Close it back this, this way to Longley, and uh, Sonny presses him, and Madders is pressing Pau Torres, and it goes Great all the pressing. way back to Martinez. Good stuff for Madders there. Very good. Martinez goes long. Poro makes a lovely little interception there, but again, Villa Everyone's back with the ball. Everyone's out of position now, though. This is a bit worrying. Yeah, Poro's in the left. Yeah, it's a good pass in. They're in here. You've got to, you've got to see great lovely block, block from... Great block. <laughs> Van der Ven. Unbelievable. Just a different level. Villa lining up another long throw here. Matty Cash, the true villain of the... I event. feel like Matty Cash is getting cheered by Villa fans every time he gets on the ball because we're obviously booing him. They're going to aim this towards Konza by the looks of things, who is in between Van der Ven and Vicario. Okay, there's going to be a chance, a shot here, is there? That's a good block from, and it comes back out. Villa just getting a bit of pressure on Spurs here, keeps coming back in. He plays a lovely cross-field ball there to Cash, and McGinn's going to get a chance to cross it, cuts it back onto his right, Great. and it's a good block from Brent Johnson, goes off Great a corner. Point. We're defending really well here so far. We are, but the, the crowd are really getting into this little little section of pressure from Aston Villa. Let's see if they put a man on Vicario like they uh, are at the, the moment. Other teams. 
Villa Park really loud now. Longley's come up from the back here. Yeah, all the all the centre halves are back. Long late, Pau Torres. He scored a header against us at the home game, didn't he, Pau he did Torres? Indeed. And they're going to in swing it from Leon Bailey, and there is a there is looks like John McGinn is on the goal line. Goal side at the moment of the keeper. It's a flat whipped ball and a good clearance from Van der Ven actually, and lovely from Destiny there. Really good pace from Destiny there to win it ahead of Yuri Tielemans and Spurs get a, a, a throw in now on the right in the right backs position. 20. Right, we need to get gain a bit more control over this game now. We've let them into it a little we bit. We have, yeah. We need to start getting on the ball a bit more. But the peaks and troughs of any game, it's always going to happen. But we've, we've stayed strong so far. And now we've got to find a way to get the ball down again and, and make yeah. our kind of, make those numbers in midfield I count. I feel like we need to look for the space a little bit more. Villa, Villa are going down all the time, trying to win free kicks all the time. Ah, he's done well there. Bit of space in midfield here and out to catch. But well Destiny. Well done, Yodogi. Fantastic. Really good, from, good defending from Destiny. Fantastic Yodogi there. Sliding, sliding challenge there. And that ball from McGinn over to the left back will always be on. And it's a good cross, but keeper's there. Oh, and well day. done, Vic. Now, now quick, is there a quick, transition quick, here? Quick, quick. Give it to Biss then. Go on. Okay, slowing it down a bit, Vic here. Gives it to Van der Vent. He gives it into Basuma, who turns. That's nice. Took it on the half turn there, and Madders lays it back. I think Madders had more space than he realised there, to be honest. Mm. But Spurs now, and Villa back in the shape. Spurs have it with Romero, just laying it across again to Van der Ven. It's not a great ball there, and Van der Ven has had it nicked off him from Leon Bailey, I think. Brendan Johnson gets... In. There's nothing in He's there. He's just dived on the floor He's there. He's just gone down. You've got to book him. That's ridiculous. Anyway, he doesn't get it. For the first time the ref's been strong enough not to give one to them now. And uh, Spurs have the throw in with Destiny Doggy. Bailey was smiling. He just knew a what he strange, did. Just a strange little pass from Romero into Van der Ven. Put him under, under pressure there. He doggy lays it to Sonny, who gives it back beautifully. And that's nice. unbelievable football from Spurs. There's still, like, obviously, Villa have a lot of. A lot of players back though. Uh, Kulisevsky made a good run from right into the centre there actually, and, and Johnson tries to play uh, play him in with the outside of his boot. Doesn't quite get it, but Spurs have a throw. A lot more of the players coming down our left here with Udogi and Johnson. Not a lot coming in off the right. No, that, no there isn't at the moment. Come on, Sonny. Oh. Pull him away, Sonny. Madders and Douglas Louise having a little bit of a scrap there. We know what Louise is like. This is where we need to show maturity. Let's not get dragged into this side of the game. Let's go get the goals we need, come back with the three points. Yeah, and Luis, forget is, about this Luis is trying to wind Madison up, and he's yeah. still doing it now, even though the refs have just talked to him. Madders, you let your feet do the talking. That's it. That's it, James. Ah, that's a bad ball from Sonny there, but actually, then a bad ball from Bailey. Doggy. Gets it back. And that's a good ball from Udogi into Poro. Who gets out to Decky now? A chance to whip it in on his left foot. I would have thought. Yeah, great he does ball. that. That's ah, not a good ball. No, okay, now you got to watch for the transition here. He had a great angle. For Beautiful a good from. Ball. Oh my god! Another one where the ref's given a foul and it's not. He's just put pressure on Telemans. He had nowhere to go and he falls on the floor. For me, that's not. Twenty-five minutes gone. Uh, they're going down like sacks of potato here. Uh, they've like... gone for the long ball there. The keeper's got to come for that. I would have thought. He hasn't. But Poro's done really well. Yes, that, beautiful oh, really from well. Pedro Porro. But look at that, even that drag down there by Watkins, you know, they're, they're just, they're riling up our players. They're really trying to get at them. Yeah. Oh. That's all right, that's yeah. all right, that's all right. Oh, wow. Yeah, all okay. right, good stuff. That's okay. Brave, I know, I know, I know, I know. Beautiful football from Spurs. <laughs> Scared me to death, but it's beautiful. And Go now on, Sonny is in. He'll have the Go pace on, here. Sonny. Oh, I just didn't. Oh, that's such Kulu. a shame. Saw's there. Oh, and now he gives offside. the offside. There was a chance there where Sonny had the pace on. I think I it was Longley, but it just unfortunately his touch bobbled it up rather than in front of him. There was a real chance there. It was beautiful football through the lines from Spurs. Do you see, it's here, that touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such yep, a yep, shame. Yep. And then yeah, he, he tries to play Cooley through, and, and he was offside. But that was good from Spurs. Beautiful stuff through the middle. Scared me to death, but it was classic Ange ball. Yeah. That is Angeball in it in its in a nutshell, isn't it? Yeah. Moving it around the back quickly. Yeah. And then finding that space in the middle and setting Sonny off. Let's yeah. hope we can do more of that. Yeah. Come on, lads, let's get a goal here before half time. And it was good to see Bisuma as a big part of it. 
He's still getting the confidence to get on the ball. And that's what we need from him. He's the only player we've got in that position who can really take it on the half turn and move it on. It's so tight in that. Look, there's no space to play in. Hmm. John Van der Ven. Johnson just had the ball there and a chance. I think it was Udogi who'd made a big run for him. Didn't get it and threw his arms up a bit. Annoyed, but... Oh, terrible ball from Kulisevsky there. There have been a few odd balls. They're in down the left here if they can find him. Mickey again. <laughs> Mickey again cutting the ball out. He's been our best player today. Oh, he's been yet again. unbelievable. But a few dodgy passes from Spurs are putting us Great in Great ball. Oh, oh, Sonny, if he could have... Lovely ball for Matters, and unfortunately Sonny just couldn't get it under control. It was outside of the boot, in between the two centre halves. He would have been in there. He was in, but he just it just skidded away from him on the bounce. And this is the ball that Villa always have on for them. Oh, Romero, why is he letting that bounce? I don't know, but Poe's coming back in. Don't foul him. Don't foul him, Christian. Okay, Villa have it with Cash now, and there's a man free at the. Oh, they're in. Chance, big chance for Villa. Oh, I'll tell you what, Madison actually what got save. his body in the way there and and helped us out. But um, the only problems we're in are coming from bad passes, weirdly, and, and not when we're put under pressure. It's kind of weirdly... Giveaways. Yeah, weird passes where it's kind of coming off the wrong side of our foot. It was vital that Madders was in there. there. He did well. Yeah, he did. He needs an option here, Van der Ven. He uses his pace to get out of trouble and gives it Lovely. to Destiny. Oh, takes Lovely. on the half turn beautifully. Oh, Sonny. What was that, Sonny? Oh, God. He was trying to get Johnson in. It just didn't happen, but it was beautiful from Van der Ven and from Udogi there. Listen, I'll say it now. If we lose playing like this, I don't mind because we're playing some beautiful stuff. Yeah, we are. We are. I just think we need to be a little bit more effective in that final third. Mm. If we can find the right final ball. Absolutely right. Beautiful control from Romero there. And for me again. And he finds a lovely ball into Son. Chance, on, chance. Oh, oh Sonny tries to lay in. in there. Come on, Kulu. Oh. Sonny tried to lay in Brennan Johnson and the defender just got a touch on it. And then there was a chance for Kulisewski to maybe pick something up. He doesn't quite. But it's, it's lovely stuff again from Spurs. And the press is back on from Sonny and Johnson. And who's coming in here to get Cash? The dog is a bit slow to the press. Cash does well. He's being brave here, Matty Cash. Ends up going back to the keeper. And Sonny puts the pressure on the keeper again. And it comes out to concert. He's Go on. in a bit. Go on, Johnson. Uh, yeah, win oh, it. Win Villa it. have got lucky there. Win it, Johnson. But Johnson's Come doing on. beautifully. Who's helping him? Okay, Come on. Well done, Brennan Johnson. It's, it's, a, well it's a Villa throw, but it's all from the pressure from Johnson. Lovely stuff. Half an hour gone. It's been a really intriguing game, actually. Not many proper chances, although Villa have got through a few times. But our chasing back has kind of stopped any kind of mega chances. It's been a very tactical game. Here. Very tactical Very, game. very tactical. And the pressure is on again uh, from, unfortunately, unlucky. Madison just kicks it off for a goal kick while he's putting the pressure on, but it happens. Don't worry, Madison, you're doing well. Villa now have the ball just outside their 18-yard box. Well done, Decky. Lovely Sharp stuff. Ball, isn't it? Oh, oh, come off it. What we need is one of these great moves to then get through to Son, one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly, that's exactly my thinking, Barnaby. Sonny must be playing this game thinking, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna get a chance, I'm gonna get a big chance. 100%, 100%. It's throwing on the left with Luca Dean. He was almost in there. If he had taken a better touch, he might have gotten in behind Langley. Yeah, absolutely right. He's got the pace on Clement Longley all day, every all day, if, day. He, if, he, if he finds himself in that channel. What did you think of Longley's loan spell at Spurs overall? Bit iffy, bit bit hit and miss. Uh, I don't think he's what we needed going forward, especially no. you know, given his age and stuff. You know, I think it's way better that we're looking at players like Mickey Van der Ven now and you know Dragusin. That's the future. Well, that's what I say to try and show my lack of bias. I don't think that was a foul to Saar either. I think he threw mm. himself over a bit easily, but the ref's mm. so quick to blow everything up. I guess that's. I guess in these games where both teams are pressing the other team, refs just are quite quick to see a little touch and assume it's a foul every time. Thirty-two minutes gone. Who do you think will be the happier of both managers here at the moment? I think Ange. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay. I do. 
Because if you think about it as well, with them having played Thursday night, you know, if it still gets into this position 60, 70 minutes with who we've got on the bench as well, you know, the game will get even more open mm. and there'll be more space in behind. So that's the way I'd look at it at the moment. This will please all the people who comment at me every week about how negative I am on these watch-alongs as well. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be more positive on the watch-alongs. I can't help it. I'm a Spurs fan. I'm used to it all. I'm that's used to the it. disappointment. Great play there. It's well done by Sonny. Oh, lovely Ooh, from Sonny. Going, Sonny. How's your pace? It's Conti. It's quick. Oh, he's in. Sonny's in. Oh, oh ref. And then he slipped over, unfortunately. Uh, was there a little Cleared by there? Martinez. And lovely from Udogi there. Bisuma. Turn. But this is it. We're turning up the pace here. We're moving the ball a bit quicker. That's it. Come Beautiful on. Beautiful from Papsar. Destiny on, now Udogi. on the front Johnson, foot. Johnson, show him. Go on, Brendan. Go on, drive at him. He gives it. He's going to give it to Destiny. I would have thought, no, cuts into Madders. Again, tries the outside of the boot. And Sonny slips Ooh. over again as well. It's two slips. Oh, hello. <laughs> lovely from, from Romero there. Romero just barged Watkins off the ball. Mickey van der Ven showing his pace here. Oh, oh and no, now we're in big the trouble. Now we're in big trouble because van der Ven is out. Basuma is covering back for him. We've got four back. So just show him the outside. Don't foul him. I'll tell you what, he's not given it, but Basuma had to be careful there and it did look dodgy. But anyway. It looked very dodgy. I think he might have touched the player first, but I don't think it'll be enough to turn it over. I'd be so shocked if they turned that one over from not him not having given it. Mm. But Basuma needed to look to see that he had men covering him as well. Yeah. Because he didn't need he wasn't last man. He didn't need to make that challenge. I have to see it again, but it was a very risky one by Basuma. But look, yeah. All's lovely good ball. As well. Oh, lovely run is what I meant from Kulusevsky. Off and you go, and Kulu. Basuma's found him. Well, Decky's gonna cross cause it with his right. Very, very rare. And it gets cleared. No one in there. And a doggy does beautifully to Johnson. Johnson's he was onside. Oh. No, he's onside. onside. Take him down the left. Take him down the left. Take him down the left. He's done it. Get across the box. Oh, he doesn't. And now he's got a chance to. Corner. That's a corner. Corner. That's a corner. It's well done, Brennan Johnson. I'm glad to see him go to the byline there because it'll make Cash think each time he's one on one against him now. They're going to show the replay of this Basuma instant now. Basuma kind of slips as well, I think. Yeah, he got a little bit on it. He it's, got the ball and then slipped, kind of. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good, a decent challenge actually. Just it looked a lot riskier the way he was shaking his foot, foot in there, the way he slipped on the ball a bit. Listen, I'm going to give him credit for covering Mickey Van der Ven. Chance here, Spurs. Oh, oh. Madness. we obviously did the the short. Oh, and it's a goal kick somehow. But we did the short corner, caught Villa out by surprise, and and Madison has a shot, but it bounces off the the block player onto him for a goal kick. It was a decent opportunity there. Villa fans getting on Madison's back, which I do not mind at all. Obviously, he's an ex-Leicester player, so that'll be why. Uh, but I think, you know, if you get on his back, he might punish you. It's a goal kick to Aston Villa. 35 minutes gone, and Martinez goes long again. Romero. <laughs> Ref's not given anything. Good. Who is that? Is that Watkins again? Yeah, yeah, it's Watkins again. Romero Big just barged Watkins on, over, yeah. And lots of space out here for Destiny again. See, I would just say he out he outdid him physically there. Yeah, he, you agreed. Know, that's not a foul. This is the best I've seen Johnson play on the left this season, I have to say. Been impressed with him. It's been a lot braver on the ball, willing to take a player on. Mad is on the halfway line now, cuts it back, goes back to Van der Ven, who gets it across to Romero. Yeah, so the, the Romero incident just a second ago was it was a long ball, and Romero just uses his body, and, and Watkins flies to the ground, trying to win a free kick, but it wasn't, and it's good to see the ref being strong enough not to give that. Because if you give free kicks for challenges like that, the game's gone. Madders again, lovely little ball into Basuma on the half turn. Nice. He gives it out to Destiny, who can put in Johnson, but he doesn't. He goes inside. And Sonny's made a run. Oh, oh come on. Get up. Sonny's still there. Oh, ref. There's nothing in that. One thing I'll say that the Villa center halves are doing well is oh. stopping those little through balls. There have been a few of They've these. They've been really good at cutting those yeah. up. Yeah, really very good. good from, I think that was Konza that time. And then Udogi gives away a free kick. How strong is Udogi? <laughs> well, one of the things I love about the, the most of the signings we're making at the moment is that there's some pace about them, but also strength. Like Van der Ven and Udogi as examples, and Pat it's, Matsar as well. I, I've, I've not witnessed such specimens at such a young age. I, I, I can't think of a player like them, to be honest with you. 
Okay, they've gone long again and Van der Ven has won it and Spurs have the ball again. So other than that kind of little five, eight minute period, around the kind of 20 minute mark, Come Spurs on, have, have looked good all game here. It's going to be a tight game, but I like how Spurs are playing. Mad is getting on the ball. I like how we're playing. I don't love how we're playing. I, for me to love it, we would have needed to create three, four opportunities. Yeah, but I think here. you have That's to give my... you have to give the Villa centre halves credit. They've they blocked out quite a lot of these. Sure, but we need to find the solution. We need to find the solution. We will. We will. I, I hope so, Barnaby. I and on matters. I have hope. That's a foul. Yeah, and take it quickly, matters. Take it quickly. Matters has got an option. He wants to go quickly, and the guy's blocking him. Book him. There we go. Johnson, Johnson is in Just here against Matty Cash. Go, oh. Cash has done well, but we still got the ball. Go on, drive at him. Right foot. Oh, no, oh, he's done he's, the wrong thing there, Johnson. It up there, Johnson. Okay, it's our throw-in. But that was good from Matters. Over the top to Johnson, and Cash did okay. Cash did well. thought for a second there, Cash had slipped and he was on the floor. Johnson was going to go through. There was definitely a period, though, where Johnson wasn't making those runs, and he wants, on, he wants to be on the ball today. I, you can really tell it, and I think... It's that kind of little period he's had out of the team where he's been coming in as the super sub, as you mm. said, that has given him the confidence to think, right, I'm going to... Nail down his spot in this team. Yeah, and I'm going to take the game by the scruff of the neck if I get the chance. Right. Man on. Good stuff from That's Spurs it. in midfield That's it. here. Really good play. And that wasn't the cross, actually, I think, from Poro, but... Mickey. Oh, he's so good. He's too good, Mickey. Is he too good for us? Will the Reals and the Barsas of the world at some be coming point, in for at him? At some point they will, but not at the moment. He'll be here for a few years, but you know you know how we, we gave um, Saar a new doggy new contracts? Mm. I'd be giving Mickey van der Ven a new oh, contract yeah, yeah. ASAP. And Levy yeah, will yeah. as well. You know, he's, he's for all the abuse he gets, he's good at that. He's good at tying down players when they deserve it. He's also good at tying them down when they don't. <laughs> nice ball from Brennan. Lovely Beautiful. Good stuff from Destiny. Little run there. Can he find him? No, he goes out wide. This is good stuff. Decky's got it. Come on, Kulu. Oh, and that's good defending, oh, to be fair. Got to beat, him, beat your man there, though. Got to beat your man. Cut to Big Ange. 40 minutes gone. Doesn't look happy in the rain, Ange, does he? No. Couldn't be as far away from what he's used to. You know, grew up in Greece, then Australia. Yeah, exactly. But then he did have to live in Scotland. It can't have been much fun up there. Oh, God. Weather-wise. Oh, God. Okay, let's give it back, Matters. Yeah, it comes back to the halfway line. Spurs just waiting to build up their momentum again. Oh, That's nice decent. for Matters. Ref. He's let play go on here. There was a foul. Yeah. Now he's pulled it back. Yeah, Tielemans with a foul there. I mean, how many of those? Surely that's a booking, though. I, 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 maybe I don't understand the laws of the game anymore, but I thought if you impede a player without going for the ball and it's so blatant that that's a, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I know what you mean. He's mostly kept them in his pocket. Good stuff, Basuma. Just yeah, makes an angle. Apart for from when Saar falls over, gets his card out then. Yeah, yeah. Basuma in, in, under pressure here. He needs help. Right, so about eight fouls on him by Douglas Luiz. What's he getting that angry about there? Calm it down, Luiz. The free kick to Spurs just in our own half. And Romero gives it to Van der Ven. We've got four minutes left of normal time. We'll see how much you reckon for stoppage? Maybe three, three minutes? I'm thinking yeah, three. Three maybe. Not more than that. There hasn't really been any big stoppages. No. Sonny kind of come deep to move around to some of their players. Udogi's very high up here. I wonder if we can find him. Yeah, there he is. Van der Ven lays out to Brennan Johnson. It kicks it against Cash. Good pressure from Spurs oh, there. Lucky. They've got a good foot in. Sonny's got to press the keeper here. Johnson's in a good position. He's going to go long the keeper, yeah. No risks there. Lovely. <laughs> Just Mickey van der Ven with a cultured header to a doggy. Back to VDV. Looking and across the, across across the back. Romero. Madison comes to get it, lays it off into Poro. He's going to find Decky, you would have thought. No, oh. but Kulisewski had actually made the long run. Won it back, Decky does beautifully. Won it back, well done. And there's room out right, Poro, but Madison has got it now. He sees a ball, can he find it? Oh, he's just, he does well, Madison there. Another foul from Villa. But now Brennan Johnson has a chance to run at Matty Come Matty on, Cash. Brennan, go on. That's it. 
Oh, and in the end, he tries to cross it, but it goes straight to the keeper. But he showed some uh, positivity again there, Brennan. Final ball's got to be better, though. I think he's got the... I don't know. It doesn't feel like he thinks he's got the pace on cash, but I really do think he does. Yeah, he's got to be better on his left foot there, really, to be honest, Johnson. But mm. he's looking positive, and that's good for me. Martinez goes long again. They're again looking for the Edison one straight down the middle. Romero challenging Watkins and does well, just lets it go actually, and Poro clears it up to Vicario. Big victory. He throws doggy. it to a doggy. He's got lots of space on the left hand side. Come on, Destiny, show us what and you Maddis can do. And Maddis shows him a good little ball, and Maddis turns well there. Oh, but it, just a little bit hospital ball in the end. They're doing well in closing the space in the middle, Villa. Lovely They're from really Udogi there. Well. There's not a foul there, he's gone down. Oh, oh my God. McGinn just f throws himself to the floor every time. It's Talk about buying free kicks. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's over there. Is he, is he going to end up booking Johnson for this? Yeah. McGinn just, considering how big and his low center of gravity, McGinn, the amount he throws himself to the floor. Anyway, Villa have the ball now. 43 minutes gone. Sonny pressing Longley. Could do with him falling Come on the floor Sonny. here. Oh. Sonny putting in some hard yards today already. Good stuff. Johnson now pressing Konza, who plays That's it. it. Win it. Go on. Sonny! Put him in. Johnson, he should have gone down there. Yeah, he should have gone down. Pin. He should have gone down. But it was a lovely press oh. from Spurs. And again, we've got the ball back. Winning the ball Come back on, quickly Tottenham. now. Let's get a goal here before Basuma half into Madison. Come on. Basuma lays it out to Sonny now. He's on the left-hand side. Gives it into a doggy. Biss is there. Inside Biss. And Saar is free as well. But no, he's... Basuma lays it out now to Porro and it comes back. Oh, that was a real chance. Oh, oh no. No. Big chance for Villa here. They've got three on three. Basuma's got to keep working here. Basuma's got to keep working. Basuma's got to keep. Great block. Lovely block from Romero, but it's still back with Villa. Come on, Spurs. You've done the hardest bit here of this defensive move. Well done, Basuma. Well done. Well done. Come on. Once again, the only chances we're giving them are when we give it away. It's just a poor ball by Romero, but yeah, he's, he's made up for them. it. But he's yeah. made up for it with this block here. He's tracked him all the way. He's watched the ball. Fantastic block. Two blocks, in fact. As we know, not great on set pieces, and it's a corner to Villa. 44 minutes gone. This will be one of the last actions of the first half. Tielemann's going to whip it in swinging. Torres, they've taken it short. Torres was on the keeper there, but Spurs pushing them out. It's going to be a left-footed whipper. Great ball, to be fair. Just wide, and I think, was it Cash or Dina? Dina with the header. It's just wide. It's an unbelievable cross from, I assume, McGinn because of the pace that came on the ball. Is this McGinn? Yeah, the seven. Spurs were pushing out, and it's a free header for Dina. We got lucky there. Yeah, we got really... It's, that um, is a, an unbelievable skill of Dina, uh, of McGinn, to cross it that flat. It's a fantastic ball in, and to be honest, he should do a bit better with the head. Lovely ball from Poro there. Oh, I'll on. tell you what, Son's got lucky. No, if I, it's got to be a foul, ref. Nothing given. The ref has not given a foul after we've just tried to play the ball through, and Saar is still on the floor. Go on, you doggy. No, doggy's go on, you doggy. And is there a chance for Spurs Off to break Off you go. Here? Just go on your own. Yeah, go on your own, Just mate. go on your own. Yeah, Johnson's in now on the left. Come on, Johnson. It's a bad ball from doggy. Give it to Sonny, maybe. Or he go lays on. Madders. Oh, come on. Find the space. Is Saar up? Yeah, he's up. Yeah, the, the Villa fans now booing because he's not claiming to be injured anymore, basically. Half time, only one minute, minute added, and that is and now Aston gone down. Villa nil. Saar just went down there as well. I don't like the look of that. It is Aston Villa nil, Tottenham Hotspur nil at half time. And I guess, not surprisingly, it's an incredibly tight and competitive game two teams going for the top four yeah you're right pat matsar is just like looking look a little bit uncomfortable he's hobbling. he's hobbling but it wouldn't surprise me if he you know felt that he got booed by the villa fans so he's trying to show that there's more to it but let's see what happens anyway mm. a very competitive game i've really enjoyed it uh, i think this is the best i've seen spurs play for a long time i agree with you in what you're saying that we're not making many guilt edge chances but i think that is because villa have that those three center half so we're it's finding difficult. it difficult to get it, it through. is difficult it is very difficult to get it through um I just want to see a little bit more quality in that final third. If we can deliver a good through ball to Sonny, to Johnson, to Kulu, to get them through one-on-one, -on -one, I'm sure we'll finish the job and we'll get the goal that we need. 
it's just the intricate passing that I'm, I'm we're doing it in the wrong parts of the, the field for me. So while passing's working in our half, yeah. but when we get to that final third, something just breaks down a little bit. We need to also take a little bit more risks. There's been a few times where we've moved the ball along the edge of the box, and I'm thinking one of you needs to take the responsibility yeah. and just have a pop. You know, it's a wet ground, the ball's wet, the gloves are wet, it can skid off anywhere. You know, you've got to take risks. If you don't shoot, you don't score. And we haven't tested Martinez at all today. We've, so. got, a, we've got a super chat that's come in. Thank you very much. This is from uh, Rovshan Jafali. It says, we don't oh, have one top winger in this club. Bit negative, I think. I think we've uh, I think we've done pretty well out wide. Kulisevsky's been more quiet than Johnson, I'd say. He has. He has. And most of our play in general has come off that left side. There's only a few attacks that have come off, off that right. I'm looking for Kulu to be a bit more, to do a bit more. Um, when it comes down to that super chat, look, I can understand where he's coming from because I don't think we have. Um, oh, we, we don't have an Eze or an Elise or no, a, a, you no, know. or even someone in the, you know, like a Doku or, or someone yeah, like yeah. that. So I can understand where he's coming from there, but we do have enough quality to hurt them on the wings. You know, when you're looking at the likes of Kulu, we know he can get goals. Johnson, and then if Werner, if we need someone off yeah. the bench, you know, there's, there's, we have players to affect the game. So I'm really looking for those wingers to do a little bit more. Um, I think I'm I think Villa the way we played. Though. I think Villa have put in a lot of um, running, defensive kind of chasing today. Have, I really do. And, and obviously we've put the press on high as well, but we've had the ball possession wise a lot more. A lot and more. so when this gets into 60, 65 minutes, 70 minutes, if it's still nil nil, then it is gonna. They're gonna have to start bringing on subs. Subs. It's gonna drop off. Anvil says one shot is worrying. I mean, to be honest, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I've flipped completely from the from the negativity you've uh, accused me of in previous watch alongs <laughs> to now feeling like we're playing really well. I'd be interesting to see this week what Sim and Ben say and a lot of the other kind of Spurs podcasters that I, I listen to what they think because I've been really impressed. Davo, thank you for writing in. He says Son is having one of those games where he's struggling to get the ball in good positions. He needs service. Yeah, but I also think you have to give credit to Villa at times in terms of their defensive mm. action. They're playing. They're playing Conte ball a bit today they are and that's not how they usually play no they are they, they've changed up their tactics to, to suit us mm. and I think if they if they were to nick a goal here and win it it would be a tactical masterclass by Emery again um, so I'm really hoping that we can unlock them, unlock that yeah. defence. Listen, I, I said it about halfway through. If we end up losing this game playing like this, I'm not going to walk away here thinking the world is ending because what I would say at that point is, well, next season, if they play a similar way against us and we've spent a bit more money on mm. a player like you talk about, like a Doku, some, not mm. literally him, but the kind of player who can just beat a man one-on-one -on -one and really split open those kind of defences, then it won't happen again. And that's where it comes down to what Andy's talking about. This season a lot is about getting us ready for a position where we are yeah. able to beat any of these teams in different ways, you know, who are playing us in different ways by just utilising the way that we play. And today's been a great example of Ange Ball, I think. Yeah, oh, it's been a great example of Ange Ball. And, and actually, you know, one of those chances that we almost created, half chances, where Sonny was nearly through and he was running past Lengley, that play, it all came from us knocking the ball around the back. You were very nervous with it. I was. I like, was. It's, it's okay. I was because like, I'm I'm 100 years old it. and I've watched Spurs for years. Do you know what? We were talking about this with my buddy yesterday. We were like, you know, if we would did that in a sat in a Sunday league game, oh. we'd be getting screamed at. Mm. We'd be getting, ro you know, the game has changed. The game has adapted, and by cr by doing those pa passing it around the back, you've created the space up front. Completely. And it's just about utilizing that space um, that that is there because there is. Space in, in behind that high line. Yeah. Uh, you just need to find it. Davo's written again and says, I think Basuma was playing above his level at the start of the year. He was just in really hot form. I think he's been all right today. He's made one bad pass, but not, you know, Romero's made two. But the way that we're the way that we're asked to play, yeah, those no, bad he, passes are gonna happen. He's been all right. Um been let me just right. have a look at some more chats here. Uh Callum Barnes, Johnson looks great, just needs someone cutting through the middle to so it frees up Son. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um uh, let's see, uh, Jean Deer. I've seen a few comments actually about Van der Ven. Let's talk about Mickey Van der Ven. Um, you made a really good comment actually. Is is he too good for us? I mean, the key for me at this point with Mickey is um, let's let's hope he doesn't suffer too many more hamstring injuries because mm. his, pace his pace and the power with with the pace. I cannot think of many centre halves. You know, he is Van Dyke esque in his ability to live, leverage people off the ball at the highest pace but also at like low pace levels as well. He, and then he's good enough on the ball. I'm not, now I'm not gonna say like he's Rio Ferdinand on the ball, but he is good enough on the ball where he doesn't give it away very regularly. And uh, yeah, he's been a cut above the rest for me. 
oh, he, he looks on a whole nother level. You know, sometimes when you watch a football game, there, there'll be a few players on the pitch that are just above the rest. And when I look at him, he's just miles apart. He's miles apart. Even when you compare him to some of the defenders that we've had in there, right? Your Sanchez's, your yeah. Dyers. Oh, my God. You know, just compare him to what Mickey van der Ve- Whenever I... F- whenever a, 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 they're in behind and Mickey's there, you're not worried. No. You're not worried. And that's that's the, the, the level of talent that the kid has, that he he's only, what, 22, 23? Yeah. And he's bringing that level of assurance to his play. And that's why I say, you know, is he is he going to stay with us? Mm. I hope. I'd love to see him at Spurs for the next 10 years. Yeah, I mean, of course. The, the way he's going on. It's just with these kind of players, you know, in the past, we've been a selling club. You look at the likes of Bale, your Modric's, mm-hmm. you know, we've been a selling club. For me, it'll be a really, really big change if we develop the type of quality of those players in the past and we manage to hold on to them. That will show me that we've actually developed as a club and we're saying, you know what, Real Madrid, go find another defender. Well, look, the, go find I agree else. with everything you're saying. The, the other difference now, though, is that Real Madrid do not have the financial muscle that they had back in those days. True. Like, sure, they can still buy a player um, and they're obviously going to get Mbappe this summer and even though they're not having to yeah. pay a transfer fee, they're having to pay about 150-odd million, 200 million on his, on his signing on fee and wages. Yeah. But... The, qu- the thing is now, we're in position as a Premier League club, but also a, a well and sustainably run Premier League club where, you know, if someone is going to want to get him and he says he wants to go, then they're going to have to pay absolute premium money. And at that point, you're talking again about how Liverpool brilliantly did it when they sold Coutinho yeah. and they were able to reinvest that in ready players. I think we're I think we're about two years at least ahead of our having to worry about this with Van der Ven. It's just brilliant to see him. But mm. what would not surprise me is if he got in the team of the year or the young team of the year. He could even get the young player of the year. Probably. Uh, in the in certainly at Spurs, but maybe even in the Premier League. He is you know, let's not forget people were like, No, we want Tap Sober or we want you know, who was the other guy that uh there was another guy, I can't remember who spoke. Well, another... Screeniar, we were after him oh, for years, years ago, but, weren't we? But, but players, uh, sorry, a lot of fans were disappointed that we ended up with Mickey van der Ven, mm-hmm. and they were wrong. And I think it's another reason why we've got to trust our recruitment, uh, which has been excellent in the last few years. Vicario, exactly the same. You know, people were up in arms about not getting Rea, and, yeah. you know, Big Vic came out of nowhere. And for me, so those two, in terms of the signings, they've been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, you know, and if I had to choose one over the other, I don't know if I could, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, Bob Buskins, Biss is playing okay, just needs to run forward. I'm not really sure that's his job. His job is to take the ball on the half turn and move it forward into Saar and into Madison. I'd be happy if we don't if we manage to keep a clean sheet, and that is to do with Biss and the defence. That would please me more than seeing him get forward, to be honest with you. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, Lee Bruce Villa sitting back, playing deep and barely pressing. Yeah. Andy Nagayan, Kulu is awful. I don't agree with that. He's no. not having his most um, effective game, mm. but he is one of the few players where if a chance was to fall, I would want it to fall to him. He knows where the goal is and he can finish. Mm. You know, we haven't created, it's not, you know, when you're looking at that front line today and you're, you're, you're looking for people to blame, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's nobody's fault that we haven't scored at the moment. We just, as a whole, we haven't created enough chances. So I'm looking for this second half for us to really try and open them up. Like you said, you know, 60th, 70th minute, you're hoping that they're going to tire. Yeah. We have players on the bench that can affect the game. Your likes of Lacelsos, your likes of Werner. Um, and if we do go a goal ahead, we've always got players that can come on and shore up that midfield as well. So, I'm yeah, it could be that the subs make a big difference. I'll, I'll read difference. out. I'll read out that bench again. Or, or, Austin, sorry, Dragushin, Ben Davis, Emerson Royal as the defenders. Pierre Emil Hoiberg, Rodrigo Bentancur, uh, Giolo Celso. I could see him looking good in a game like this I when the, when lots un- of spaces he could coming unlock, up. He could unlock them. And then Timo Werner and Dane Scala. I think it's going to be a very fascinating second half. Even if we were to concede the first goal what I could see happening then is Villa just getting further and further back Mm. and it might be that then they kind of set up in a more of a like Brentford and that could be difficult for us but we would still have control of that game I think so let's see what happens Um, I think as ever it feels to me like we've got to be careful not to give away too many set pieces Mm. and look you know whilst we're trying to play brave risky football we are going to give the ball away a few times it happened it but happened in the first half exactly but romero and van der ven are the two players i want in my center in my center back line to uh, 
to deal with that. Um, do you think Ollie Watkins will come out this half? He looked quite uncomfortable at different times, and he, he certainly looked like he was lacking a bit of pace after those challenges, those early challenges. Yeah, he did, and he took a knock as well. And Romero's kind of had him in his pocket, you know, apart from that ball and the, the bad ball that he played and kind mm. of put him in. Um, Romero's had him in his pocket, so could be a change there, but... You know, usually strikers they might you might give him another 20, 25 minutes and then take him off. I think. Yeah, Tunde says Villa are happy to go long, which can catch us out at any time. I think I think we're dealing with that actually pretty well. Yeah, the long we're ball. We're doing all right. We're doing yeah. all right. Well, again, like I said, every time that ball comes over and Mickey's there, you're not so worried. And even when it comes on Romero's side. The blocks that he got in, you know, he lost the ball, he, he made the recovery, mm. and then he put in two fantastic blocks. When you've got an elite defender like that, you 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 do feel so much more comfortable, even when the teams are advancing on you. So, you know, that's just a testament to, to Mickey himself and Christian. Completely. And I do think that, you know, having Porro back in there as well, it's it gives you that little bit more stability, a little bit more... Um, a bit more recovery pace as well than Royal, I think. He's quite, quick off, he's quite quick off he's the quick, mark. He's quick. And and they know each other a little bit better as yeah. well. Um, six, y six yard box says, we need to push them. They will get tired. No excuses not beating them or getting something from this game. I mean, it's not as simple as saying no excuses. Like... I think we're doing well, but you know anything can happen in the Premier League. Villa, let's not forget, Villa are a great side. They've got an unbelievable home record. They'd won, some, they'd won a load of home games on the trot before losing at home to Man United and Newcastle. I watched those games. The Man United game was a bit of a smash, it was a crazy smash and grab. Yeah, it was a crazy um, uh, Anthony G says, put Johnson on the right, Son on the left, Cooley, Cooley up front. I don't think so. I've never no. seen him play as a force nine. That I don't. But think I is could. A thing. But I might move uh, Johnson over to the right at some point and put Werner on the left if need be. Yeah. And another change that you know possibly could be we don't know what Sars condition is, but he looked like he was struggling a little bit there at the end of the second half. Yes, he did. So Rodrigo Bentancur could be one to to come on in this second half but we'll see we'll see do you think there'll be any changes Barnaby at half time I think uh, barring an injury to Saar I don't okay. I think what Saar gives us that is kind of often unseen almost is he makes he makes different runs in terms uses his legs to make runs forward that then drags the opposition into areas they don't want to go mm -hmm. whereas I think Bentacor is a bit more come to the ball get into Basuma's space a little bit mm. so I'd rather Saar stayed on at mm. the moment personally mm. Mm. a good head says the chat is ridiculous we will prevail come on Jacob says I tell you what it was fun watching Kane in the Champions League this week die playing to the good old days we talked before we came on about Kane obviously scored oh. loads of goals yesterday as well wait they're just showing Dragushin going through a Warm up. Going through a heavy warm up here. That's interesting. Well, that performance, Kane's performance last uh, yesterday, sorry, mm. was just one of the most complete number nine performances I've seen in in decades, probably. Yeah. I mean, hat trick plus the assist plus the other goal that you know he could have got a touch on it and it would have been offside and no goal yeah but that was, was brilliant he was smart enough to let that one go if it's you haven't seen it watch the highlights of the Bayern uh, win yesterday um, Kane just showed everything unbelievable. Um, unbelievable do you think Daniel Levy has a clause in there based on how many goals he scores for Bayern surely he will there must be some type of I reckon we're getting more money all the time be. there must be there must uh, be. Sky have just come back uh, and they're showing the Liverpool players entering Anfield. Obviously, it's the big Liverpool versus Man City game at 3.45. Gutting yesterday to watch Arsenal kind of score the oh, winner in the 85th minute. You always knew it was coming, Yeah, you did. You? You, yeah, always you, did. Knew. you always knew. What Again, what annoys me about that match is the, the Havertz dive. I wouldn't I wouldn't be... If they, if they had won it fair and square, no problems. But the fact that that guy shouldn't have been on the pitch and that the ref... You know, you're, you told me that he actually went to his pocket to give him a yellow and then he realised that he yeah, was on the second what I heard, yellow yeah. and kept it back in. I mean, that's not right, is okay. it? Okay, Ollie Watkins it's is coming right. back on the pitch. 1,778 of you are watching. Thank you so much. Please press that like button, guys. Come on, guys. Also, make sure you press subscribe to We Are Tottenham TV if you haven't already and come and follow the Spurred On podcast, which is my channel where I do daily Spurs content. Just click on my name, which is in the title. Amir, where can they find you? People can find me over on Tottenham On Tour and uh, I'll be here in the studio over the next few months as well. So Amazing. So catch me on here. Brilliant. Okay, guys, we're just about to kick off the second half come on Tottenham come on you Spurs no changes from either side at half time Aston Villa now shooting uh, from right to left and uh, they are kicking off the second half a lot at stake here in this second half of course there is 
What do you think Emery will be telling his Villa players at half time? Do you think he'll be changing anything kind of tactically? No, actually, I think he'll be quite happy. I think they'll be quite pleased with a draw here. If yeah. they can keep it at what five points, yeah, yeah, you know, they'll feel that they can crack on and get that fourth place if they yeah. if they continue to play their football. So. I was actually going to ask you at half time, do you think Villa are playing for the point? Um, I think I think they're playing for the idea that if they keep a clean sheet, they'll win this game. Because Spurs okay. don't keep clean sheets. Villa are through on the right here. Cash is cut inside. He's going to have a shot. Great it's a block. great block from Van der Ven. And it comes out to Kulusevski. Can you be strong? Win it, Kulu. Deki. Lovely stuff from Deki. Smart Holds play. it up well. Smart play Goes by back Dejan. to Porro. Oh, that's a shame. I'll tell you what, Pat Matasar nearly found Kulusevski down the right-hand side there. So, um, yeah, Villa, just Cash made a great run off the ball, and it's he has a lot you, of time. caught you doggy there, napping as well, out yeah. of position. And it's a good block from Van der Ven once again. Watkins felt he was free for a, a, a pass for Matty Cash, and he didn't get it, so he's not happy about it. Villa have the ball back now in their back line. Come on, Johnson. Press. Win it. Oh, brilliant yes. little... Come on. Chance here for Spurs. Go on, Sonny. Oh, What's that? Sonny that just played a horrible ball through ball, ball attempting to get it to Johnson, and it oh. just went straight to the defender. Very In fact, sloppy. if I was Sonny, I would have probably taken it on my right and had a, had a dip. So a now, real chance. Now Villa on the break on the left with Dinia. Cuts it back. Chance here. Pau Torres is up there for some reason, and they're in. It's going to be a block. Oh, I'll tell you what. Does Van der Ven block it? And the, the flag is now finally up. It would have been offside anyway. Yeah, he's well off. Yeah, they were offside. But interesting to see that Pau Torres, their centre half, suddenly found himself in the number 10 position. That's not something we saw in the first half, for sure. A bit more kind of bravery on the ball from Villa there. Oh, no, Van der Ven's gone down. Van der Ven has gone down. Is it his hamstring? He did. Oh, it this is his hamstring. hamstring. This is hamstring. This is not good. And maybe that's why he told Dragusin to warm up. Maybe there was a. He felt it. He felt it at half time. Yep. Dragusin's coming on here, guys. So after all the praise for Mickey, unfortunately, he's having to come off. Let's just hope. Let's just hope that it's not too serious. Oh, no, but it doesn't look good here for Mickey. Okay, he's pushing it up. Is, are they thinking it could be cramp? No, no, I don't think it's cramp. I don't, he wouldn't be... He wouldn't Do you be. remember... So he's grabbing his right leg. Was the previous one his right or his left leg? I can't remember. I think it was his... Was it his left? I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you for sure. Oh, this is the worst thing that could happen to us here. Lots of Spurs fans have been calling for Dragosheen to get a chance, and now we're going to see him. I've been saying this week... I've been saying this week, we're going to see enough of Dragosheen down. in this stretch? It might happen there. That was a good block, to be fair. Fantastic block. Oh, Mickey. Oh, well, no. I'll, one thing I can say, he's not in as bad a way as he was when he injured himself last time. No. No. So hopefully they're just being cautious. But we are now going to see the most we've seen of Radu Dragosheen. One thing we do know about him, very good from offensive set pieces. Mm. But to say he won't be as quick as Van der Ven on the recovery will be an understatement. I don't think anyone will be. No. So he sets up in Mickey's position and for the first time we go, oh no, it comes out wide to, okay. Oh, careful, Decky. He's won it back. Well done, Decky. Off you go. Go on, play it. That's it. Again, they get a touch on it, but Saar is in down on, the right. Saar. He wasn't offside either. Good it's ball. Good Yes! Come on! So Madison has scored. Fantastic! I refuse to, I refuse to celebrate because I'm scared of VAR, as we well know. Come on, Barnaby! Come on! Where? Right. Come on! I we can't got this. Because of VAR. Because of VAR. No, there was no offside. I there. don't think there was either. But let's there, see. Where was the offside? Saar was never offside. It's a beautiful cross by Pat Matsar, by the way. He got in down the right, and Madders makes the run in between the centre halves. He's going to do his darts, but I want to double check it all. Barnaby's a lot more pessimistic than me. I'm I, scared. I, I, I'm I know. Scared. I feel you. I feel you, Barnaby. I, I feel you. But I no, did we say are one nil up here, guys. So it was Come lovely on. stuff between Deki Kulusevski and Poro to Kulusevski into There's Saar. No well, it's there. close, well but onside. it looks onside He's to me. Well onside. So He's Saar well onside. then breaks in down the right, 
and just takes the touch what and then this, this cross is unbelievable. Well. unbelievable. Matters is onside for sure. It's an unbelievable ball in by the star wow. boy. I just want to see the game start Unbelievable. Again. Unbelievable. And a good finish on the volley. This is why I think he could go to the very top of football. Yeah, you said it. And look, Madders as well. We've got to give him credit. They're still checking oh, the VAR. And this is why I didn't celebrate. Oh, get out of here with this VAR uh, he's on. nonsense. He's on. Oh, they just, a goal. They just showed, they just showed a, a line. So they've gone on to the second one, I think. I think they've gone on to the second one because they just showed a line that was well in front of Saar coming off the Villa player at the, at the, at the top. But... Th do Check complete. Bang. Come on. Come That's on, you Spurs. Come now. on. Come on. Matters. I was asking for him to step up for this game. I'm so Look, happy. He has put in a lo goal. an amazing run in between the centre halves. I'm so happy for him. Well done, Matters. And, and he just hit treble tw 20 there with the I said in the well. first half Come on. that Villa fans are abusing him and that may come back to bite them. And it has. Really important goal there from James. Okay. Up you get then, Dragosheen. Ref. Oh, the ref. He's just barged Dragosheen down. Well covered from Romero there. But that was the first physical. Dragosheen's going to know now. He can be more physical. <laughs> oh, cool. fallen over. Chance for Tielemans. Great Keeper. Block. Vic. Well, well, done. Done, Vic. Well, done, well done, Vic. Well done, Well done, well done, well done. So Dragosheen went up for his first aerial challenge and he got barged over and the ref didn't give it. So he's going to know from now. Well, got to be stronger. Lovely ball for Madders. This beautiful, is good football. Beautiful football. Put him in. No, it was Kulisewski, oh. so he knew he didn't have the pace. That was clever to hold that up. Oh, he's... Oh! oh you doggy nearly in. Oh, if his touch had been better, it just came through bodies, and so he couldn't get hold of it. Wow. Beautiful football the from The game Tottenham has Hotspur. opened up here, Barnaby, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, a bit earlier than I expected Come as well. Come on. Oh, Basuma's just committed himself there. Good turn from McGinn, but Basuma's got back in a good position. Oh, no, he's done it again, and they're in. Good block from Udogi. Good defending. And the Spurs fans singing the Postacoglu anthem. Villa now have to come out their shell a little bit. I actually think this if, if we do get the three points here, it'll be huge for Ange. Of course. It will be, it will be getting ready. Hello, hello, go on. we're in, go, go on. on, three on one. Pick out Decky. Oh no, he's picked out the wrong one. Go! Come on! He didn't yes! pick out the wrong one. It's Brennan Johnson. Come on, Johnson. Two nil Spurs. Come on! Pick the right pass. Even Come though I on, said Brennan. it was the wrong pass, I know nothing. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Let's just check the VAR that he didn't no, hold on to it no too VAR. late. Hold Don't worry on. about VAR. Hold on. Good finish from Brennan oh. Johnson. One on one with the world's greatest goalkeeper. If you take that from the World Cup win. And it win. won't be a good evening for Emery tonight, that's for Hold sure. Hold on, there's a long way to go. Come on. Let's just check this VAR. It was a lovely press again in the midfield. Who was it who nicked, uh, nicked the ball off him? Was it Sonny? No, it's... Does Johnson start himself? Saw, is it? No, it's Johnson. Oh, no, here we go. Deki Kulisevsky. Now, Deki this is the important back. one. Yeah, and he's on. He's on, he's on, he's well And it's on. a beautiful finish, isn't it? Fantastic. Fantastic. And that's what you want from the front three. Look, that's exactly what, what we were supposed to do today. Win the ball high up, quick ball in, and Johnson's just buried it. And he what Johnson does it. well is he gets, some, he gets some lift on it, and that gives Martinez no chance. It's a fantastic finish, actually. Yeah. That is actually a fantastic finish. Under Johnson. pressure. A player who's been getting abuse from some of the Spurs fans Come this season. I look, he's put his, and he's, he's ex Nottingham Forest, so he's given them that. Giving him the finger. Come on, Johnson. He's telling them to now be come quiet on Spurs. up at Villa Park. Play smart here and pick them off. Madders taken down in midfield from Leon Bailey. Uh -oh. And he's just, yeah, he's just taking a bit of time here, Madders. Yeah, a bit of gamesmanship here. Yeah. I just always get oh, worried. Although he's, he's fisting the floor. I hope he's all right. Could be just a knock. Yeah, the ref again hasn't booked a, a an Aston Villa player. Madders, cynical, <laughs> cynical. Madders is a, Madders exactly the guy you want on your team. I'm sorry, not just for his creative ability, but he's an asshole. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a yeah. lovely he's little a wind, asshole like Romero as well. Merchant. He's a wind up merchant. He's James okay. Madison. Dragushin getting it. his first touches on the ball here, just laying it out. Some of the some of the players who have done deep dives on Dragushin say he's not as comfortable with the ball at his feet as as say Van der Ven, but we're going to see for the first time. And let's face it, we've so far, currently, so, so far, two goals since he's been on the pitch. Okay. And he goes back to Vicario. I would go long here, Vic, if I were you. And he doesn't. He rails it out right. to Porro, makes right. him a good angle. What's Porro seen there? 
nothing. He just drops it over the top, and Sonny is pressing Sonny. Torres. Go on, course. Sonny. Hunt him down. Hunt him down, Sonny. That's it. Go on, Johnson. Yeah, and Doggy was a bit slow to that one. But anyway, good stuff from Spurs. Still but we've working. won it. We've won it again. Oh, ref. Brennan Johnson is working his nuts off. I... I don't know what I don't know what he's given there. Well, how can you give that a foul? I don't understand. He's won the if ball. If he doesn't, if he doesn't get a, a touch on the ball, then it's a foul, of course. But I think he's got the ball there. But yeah, Johnson is working. His work rate's been phenomenal today, and I and can the see why he's come in. And for the first time, the co-coms is, is saying you're wondering if that game in the midweek is, is affecting Villa. Well, I would just say that Tottenham have been bang on this so far today. Yeah. Since the whistle, since the whistle. And Spurs have now scored in 39 successive games. Arsenal's record with their invincible side was 55, and we are chasing it. We're coming for them. He goes back to Martinez. He's going to have to go long here, is he? No, he lays it off wide to... Uh... And West Ham losing at home to Burnley hilariously as well. Here we go. Villa have a chance in behind here. And we're going to see Dragosheen's pace for the first time, and he does well. He turns away. I'd just get rid of this, mate. And he finds He's Udogi really well. well there. And He's done Udogi really finds well. Bissouma. Give him an option. Good stuff from Spurs. Give him another option. Brennan Johnson on the ball now. Oh, he loses it. It's a foul, though. He's all no, over it. Hold him. on. Let's not get their fans back into this game. Romero with a fantastic, fantastic interception play. there. Good stuff. Off you go, Poro. Go on, this space. Oh, Poro was tempted to try something. Comes to Deki. Now, all the grief that Deki gets, if, if he doesn't win that ball back high up, that second goal doesn't happen. Yeah. So, you know, guys, sometimes there's a, it's not all about scoring the goals and getting the assists. There's a lot, a lot of work that goes... There's you know, so much in these games that you don't see. Yeah. And it's not as simple as goals and assists. Yeah. Do you know what? It's, it's a lot about what work you can put on the pitch to make it easier for other players or to drag opposition players out of position. 100%. 100%. So Villa going for three substitutions now. So they're clearly they're taking off Longley and they're bringing on Zaniolo. They're I think that's Diaby, and someone else. They're obviously going to go four at the back, I would say, and try and uh, they're pushing for it. And why wouldn't they? Tiemans is coming off as well. Yeah. And Dina coming off as well. So yeah, tactical change here by Emery around the 60th minute. Yeah. I hope Mickey Van Der Ven's okay. Oh, big Mickey Van Der Ven. Mainly because I want to marry him. <laughs> I don't want him to have a hamstring injury when we're going down the aisle. <laughs> okay, play. Good good win from Dragosin there. Oh, oh my oh. God, this referee, man. This referee. Honestly. Madison can't believe it. He, he's given a foul against Madison there where it totally looked innocuous at best. Anyway, Villa have it down the right. Good interception from Udogi. And the Villa fans starting to get annoyed now. Good half turn for Madders. Plays in Sonny oh, down Sonny. the left. He's on his own here, Sonny. Just go oh, with I'll tell you Sonny. What, he's, go going, he, he's running him down the line, but good defending from Villa, to be fair. Good, Kulu. good stuff from Dekka Kulisevsky. The How is that not a foul? I and don't now understand. Villa, and he will and give now that. he's going to blow that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. now Villa have gone quickly. And the ref, of course, has let it happen. Big chance here for Villa. Good block from Dragusheen. Fantastic. Huge from the big Come man. Come on, Radu. Well done, big rad. And Spurs now have it. The game is so open now. Basketball. Johnson has it on the left. Into Matters. Spurs comfortable on the ball now, though, knowing. This is where we need to be smart. This yeah. is where we need to be. A sp this is what I've been asking for as well. A bit more game management now. We're two ahead, half an hour to go. We don't need to go gun ho for the third, but we still need to be attacking. I agree. For me, the smartest it. thing we could do in this game is not let their crowd into it. 100%. Don't rile them up. Don't do don't anything. Don't give them to... set pieces. Yeah, exactly. Don't give them anything. Anything. Madders we know the out. Johnson, Sonny's in here down the left. Johnson on, finds him. And a doggy is in in the Kulu's middle. Kulu's in. Kulu. No, that's where we want. <gasps> if Johnson was there, that would have been a goal. It's a great cross from Sonny, but we've, we've replenished the ball here. If Poro had gambled, though, he's getting there. It's good football from Spurs. It's very good. It's very good. And we, we, we just keep the ball now. Romero coming across to Dragosin. That block from a, a good cross from Villa was important. And a good ball, ball from Dragosin. Oh. Go on. Go on, Madders. Oh, oh but just Sonny again. was there. Oh. Go on, we, we're, we're putting them under on, all Pat. sorts of pressure here, boys. Come and on, Pat. Oh, Pat Matasar got something in his eye there. 
into Basuma, who Lovely. lays it out to Poro. Lovely and play. Madders is in if he can pick him. He doesn't. He lays it to Deki, who's going to have to come back, Madders is he? Is there. It's a corner. This is fantastic now. T Spurs are really turning on the style well, here. We're dragging them all really over the pitch because they know the they know they have to get it off us. So they're having to try and get, come and get it. Short and we're corner. just popping it around beautifully. Poro Poro the ball. ball comes in. Uh, there was no one Headed there for down. that. Oh, Deki has tried to go around him. Okay, and there's a little transition chance for Villa in it. It's going to be a foul, that. Yep. Yep, that's a good foul from Dragosin. Played it quick. Terrible ball. He's going to book Dragosin now. For what? For trying to stop the pass, basically. Oh, come off it. This ref is weird. This ref is... I think he's just got it in for us, to be honest with you. He's Yeah, it's, the, it's because he sticks his leg out. But anyway. Really silly there. Yellow card for Dragosin. Okay, Villa now have the ball with Conta. So they've got Conta and Torres at centre-half. Matty Cash is right back now. There's going to be a lot more space for Sonny to work in there. Oh, yeah. Would you consider sticking on Dane Scarlett for a little bit, giving him a run around here for the last 20-odd, 20 25 minutes? Nah, not a 2-0. No. Okay. no way. Watkins with Romero all over him, and Romero wins it. Actually, a bad ball there from... Uh, a bad touch from Madders, but Dragushin... Gets it back to Vicario. Oh, a little slip from Dragosin there, but he's still got it, and he's... He's very agile for such a big guy, huh, Dragosin? He doesn't look that huge, actually. Do you know what? I think he looks massive. I mean, he's along, He's on the far... He's, he's yeah. far away, so I can't quite tell, but yeah. I, I'm not saying he's small, I'm just saying... Lovely turn for Madders. Lovely stuff, and now another chance. Udogi could be in here. Oh, it's oh. too much on it. Better oh. ball. Yeah, we, we sh probably could have held on to that, but I can see why he's tried to play Udogi in. There's so much space in, be in behind Villa here. Oh, it's huge. It needs to be utilised. Villa just going straight down the middle, but Romero does well, but it comes back to... Ooh, oh, my God, I'll tell you what. That was that almost was... like that West Ham game. Yeah, getting flashbacks there. Oh, Douglas Luiz does well there, and they've got a good chance to get a ball in here oh, on the no. right flank. Yeah, they're in down... The Offside. He's offside. offside. Good, good line well from Spurs. Done. And Dragashin gives it the big for an offside. <laughs> Excellent stuff. I love it. I love it. I was at that open training session. They worked so hard on that line. On stepping up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you don't. That's good stuff. He's well off. Look at yeah. them there. He's well off. And what, one of the drills that they're doing is always never to go beyond that 18 yard line mm. and just let the opposite. I'll tell you what, Son's in here. Come on, Sonny. Do him. He's done well to hold it up. Oh, mm. I just lose it. Decky. Oh, crunching tackle. But Sars in a good position. Papsar's long leg saved the day, and good stuff from Spurs to get it back to Poro. I think Pape's been absolutely phenomenal. He's been today. outstanding, yeah. Shout for man of the match, even. Uh, it was shoe in for Mickey van der Ven, but now that he's injured, yeah. probably not likely. Comes out to Dragusheen. I was very impressed, Barnaby. I went to the North London derby on uh, Friday, the under 21s, and what impressed me more than the way we were, um, the game itself and some of the players was the dedication to Ange ball. Yeah. We were playing that style of football the whole way to drill it through into these youth players that this is the way we play. Put him in, put him in. Oh, oh nice unlucky. idea, nice idea. Well, and Madder's getting annoyed at the other players, but don't worry, just keep playing, boys. Yeah, so I've been hearing a lot about the academy all all being absolutely wedded to the style. It's completely Ange ball. But how mad is it to think that that's not usually always the case? It's like, of course, your academy should play the style well, your that first worries team you. Yeah, well, that worries you what we've been doing for, for, for the past Mind you, do you want your years. academy playing Conte ball? Do you know what I mean? It's mm. a bit of a good block there from Destiny. How strong are you feeling? Go on. Good touch from that's Brennan. It. Give him a little option Who's here. showing in the middle? Who's showing right, in the middle? This can Come go on. back. Dragosin can send this back and get it across to Romero. Yeah, good play. Good play. Oh, I'm not sure if that's the ball. It's okay, it's okay. Biss did well there, but... Oh, I'll tell you what. This is risky. what I'm talking about. This is risky. This is what I'm talking about, about getting the crowd up. Oh, they're in. They're big time in. It's a great, great save, save by Vic. Vic. Come on. Come on, Vic. Off you go, Tottenham. Let's get the third. Come on. Up the pitch. Oh, lovely from Destiny. Big space Beautiful. for Destiny to run into here. And he's just going Oh, wow. Own. If that's not don't, a yellow don't, card. Don't do anything. Just get away from him. Get away from him. Get away from him. It's all kicked off here. It's all kicked it's off all on the sidelines. Even Emery's involved. Emery's pulling McGinn away. But it was a horrible foul from John horrible. McGinn. It's a classic example of what horrible. will become if they bring in an orange card. He, and Romero's trying to get involved. Longley's trying to push Romero away. Udogi played... You could just see that Udogi just running into space there and McGinn was like, I'm not having it, and just hacks him. 
It's a horrible foul. It'll red. only be a red. Oh, he's giving him he's red giving back. Him red. Come and rightly on. so. It was because it was. Do you know why? It was so because late. Because he, he did it so late and it so was hard. So late. What it is was the what, so what is the term they use where it's like putting the opponent in danger? Uh, for a serious uh, foul play. Like you're 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 endangering the opponent. Yeah. yeah. It's aggressive. Now I don't think VAR will overturn this. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's a horrible challenge. It's. Oh. Do you know what? The contact oh. is high. Even though it's with his thigh, the contact. It's a, it's a dead leg for a doggy, I think. Bye, mate. Good luck. Yeah, off you go. They're not overturning that. Off you go, McGinn. Go They're on. They're not overturning that because it's setting a bad example if they overturn off that. Off you go. Horrible challenge. Horrible. If they overturn this, it's a terrible precedent. He's got... I'm, I'm sure it's a dead leg. Yes. Yeah, you've gone. Of course. Yeah, you, you cannot do that. You know, you're, it, when you go in high on a player and when the ball's not even there to be won... I'm not sure it's the expect? height. I mean, his thigh hits him high, but I think it's the, just the speed he it's goes the in. Force with, the force well, Sorry, the force. exactly. But look, it's the horrible. fact that he's high as well Ooh. there on him... Just it's, kicks him. He's gone for the player, not the ball at all. <laughs> look, the ball Johnson. security guy. I never know what his name is, but he's been Spurs security guy for like 10 years. Oh, yeah. He's right in there. Come on. I hope Destiny's okay. Oh, it it's looks horrible. horrible. That is it's the horrible. worst angle. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible challenge. That is the last thing Villa needed now, because we've been moving them about anyway. Destiny needs to do more of that. Just charging, because he's got the pace and the strength. Nobody can knock him but off the ball. Do you know the what ball. the difference is? Because Nobody. Villa because Villa having to try and get the ball off us, they're all running in too quickly, and Destiny's just able, oh, I'll knock it past yeah. you, I'll knock it past yeah. you. Yeah. And McGinn was like, I'm not having this. Come Emery. on, you Spurs. What Come are you on. Do now, Emery? Let's watch a, uh, I'll have a look at some uh, comments. Although it'll take a little while to catch up. But that's a huge few minutes for Spurs. 1,876 of you watching. Smash that like button. Tell us how you feel about all of this performance. I said it first half. I thought this was our best performance since those first 10 games. And we've got the goals to back it up now as well. Uh, Villa deserved its payback time. Hashtag Dirty Villa for a yes. super chat from Andrew. Thank you, mate. Come on, really, Andrew. Andrew Dean, appreciate that. Thank you so much. And it is. Revenge is ours and sweet today. Come I on. I am a Spurs fan, so I'm unwilling to say things like that yet, but it's been a great game uh, so far is where I'm willing I'm to go with go it. I'm going to go out on the limb. Ten men. Don't do this! Ten men. Don't do okay, this! Okay, Barnaby, I, I was I at I White Hart Lane when we were 3-0 up at half City. time against City. ten men. City, yeah, And yeah, we yeah, lost, yeah, yeah. not even in extra time, we lost in 90 minutes. I know. John Macken scored the winner. I, know, I was there. Barnaby. So I was listening. I was tuning in on the radio to that one, and I couldn't actually. I thought they were having me on. I thought this was some <laughs> kind of joke. Anyway, so Spurs can but, just yeah. move them around on, now. Tottenham. Sars made a Let's lovely run from there. Come on. Well done. Yeah, the com Cocom saying that he thinks it was fueled by anger, and I agree. Yeah, anger, frustration. Give him a nice short option here, Raddy. Uh, so Raddy's got the ball. So we've, we, but what's so what's so impressive for me is that we haven't lost our head because it would have been so easy to come in here. Would have been so easy to come in here, lose your head, go in for cash, get a red card, get Romero riled up. We've kept our heads the whole game. We were nil nil at half time, tight oh. game. We came out, we got the couple of goals. Mcginn's oh. gone and done his stupid thing and got sent yeah. off, and now we're controlling the game. No, I completely and agree. This is a place that I've wanted to be in for the last. 10 games. Two goals ahead with 20 minutes to go. Perfect situation. Yeah, let's get a third as well, though. Come on, we will. We will. We will. <laughs> Just make me feel more comfortable. We will. Yeah, we but listen. Will. Come on. Listen, I've been, I've, I've been saying well it for a while. Spurs. Yes, are we there yet to easily beat those teams who come 11 men behind the ball? No, we're not. We're not there yet. But when it comes against these teams who come at us, when we went to City and drew 3 all with Ben Davis and Emerson Royal, are we showing that our team is getting to grips with what they're being asked? Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. It's very impressive. Definitely. And the fact is, all the players, if you hear them talking about Ange and the way we're playing football, they're so much happier. All of them, all of them are, than what they were last season under, under Conte. Pat Matasar getting a rest now. 70 minutes. Rodrigo Bentico coming on. And I agree with you. He's up there for man of the match. I'm going to give him one of my of famous match. little stars next up to him. Up there for man of the match, Pape. Not just the, not just the assist for Madison, right? But his work off the ball, it's non-stop. He's always there. Yeah. I'd love to know how much he's run, because I reckon in 70 minutes and he's come off, he's probably run more than players that will play for the whole 90. He's such an amazing bloke as well, oh, clearly. Unbelievable. Top guy. Top oh, guy. Oh, Maddis tries to nick it in there. But 
They've, uh, they've broken through our press here now. Good tackle from Udogi. Unlucky, though. Oh, no, it wasn't Udogi. It was Biss. Sorry. And Udogi wins it back. And he's, he's on his bike again, Go Udogi. On. He's charging up the pitch again. Come on, Udogi. And kicks it off. Is that because we've in we got an injury? Was it? Yeah. Oh, no. Brennan Johnson's Johnson down, now down here. It doesn't look good for him. Oh, no. Is that off the ball? Didn't see him anywhere I'm near the ball. sure. I didn't see anything. God, not, I don't want to be picking up injuries again. He's, he's trying to clamber to his feet. What Let's happened have here? A look here? Oh, no, they're just showing oh, the destiny. Cash of... stood on him. I'm... It's accidental, apparently, but yeah. Oh, God. Got Cash just flying into challenges left, right, and center at the moment. Oh, they've lost their Sammy, heads. Sammy, could you do me they? a favor and fill up this water bottle? They've lost their heads, Thanks, haven't mate. they? Okay, they've thrown it back to Spurs. Dragusheen now to go back to Vicario, who will get it out to Romero. Watkins still pressing, to be fair to him. Bissouma now has all the time in the world. Nobody pressing him. Give it back to him, that's it. Yeah. Look, Sonny's Sonny gone. Yeah, Ooh, but he's not going to risk that, is he? Oh, oh lovely, lovely turn lovely from play. Rodrigo. Give it back to him, Pedro. Oh, no, he's coming out to Deki. I wouldn't be surprised to see Werner coming on soon, to be honest. Yeah, utilise the space. Yeah. Deki. Great finds ball. Basuma into Madders, back to Basuma. Just playing these little three, four yard balls now. Beautiful. Oh, oh. Porro tried to take it on the half turn, but they've, they've beaten us back now. Oh, hello. Hello. They've all dived in here. We're in trouble. Stand. You doggies won doggy, it. And that's our ball, Fantastic. surely. Fantastic. Got to be ours. You doggy, Gotta brilliant. Sammy, thanks so much, mate. This is where I worry a bit, right? We, we committed quite a few men forward there, and then <laughs> suddenly, you know, they're on the break. This is where we've got to be a little bit I agree. Smart. That's also why I keep telling you not to say smart. it's over. Oh, I, did, I didn't say it was over, <laughs> but I just insinuated that we might be coming home with the three points today. I hope so. I hope I so. Hope so. Don't forget, we'll guys, if you're watching, there will be a live post-match uh, immediate reaction show from yeah, us. We'll... And then on a separate stream, which we'll tell you about, there is the post-match fan show where you can call in and speak to us. So get ready to give us a call. All the details will be in the description box. Vicario just playing it around now out to uh, Dragusheen. He's, well he's, he's come got on, a lot of space he? yet. He's looked good. He's looked good. And he's going to get minutes. Great ball. Uh, it's too much on that. Oh, that's a nice idea. Good run from Kulisevsky breaking the lines. Dragushin tried though. to play him in. Good idea. Great idea, Dragushin. Spurs still pressing up high. Johnson's okay now. Yeah. Looks like it was just a bit of a knock. Well won. Well won. Chance go on. Spurs. Here we go. Is there going to be a third? On his right. Deck Kulu. Is... Oh, cuts it back. Oh no! Sonny. We've we've tried to do it too well. Too Who's going to shoot? No, oh, we've tried lads! To, we've tried to hit the paradise one. Lads, someone had to shoot there. Oh in my that god! Scenario. Spurs. Somehow Villa have got out of it there. Cash is coming the down the wing. No, Gone it's off. Uh, it's Zaniola, and he's oh, going to get Zaniola. booked. He has to get booked for that. No, no, no. He has to get booked for that. Of course not. It's against Spurs. Of course not. When we do it, it's a yellow card. That's when bizarre. they do it, it's nothing. But yeah, look, you've he, got to um, be a bit more decisive here in this in this Deke situation. Decky didn't want to hit it on his right foot, so he cuts it back. Thought Sonny would be there. He doesn't hit it first time. Or there. Yeah. And then by then the chance is gone. But yeah, yeah Spurs looking looking deadly here on the on the break. Dragusheen into Madders, who finds the low low Benton cut. He's got the gloves out. Bit cold for the Uruguayan. Yeah, I don't mind that only based on the fact that Ange has his gloves on as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a nice try trying to play Son in, but the ball wasn't good enough. Go and on. And Luis just a bit stronger in the tackle over Doggy there. And look how much space they've got out wide. Too much. You've got to keep working, Basuma. He's showing him the line. Oh, and then he lets him inside. He has a shot, Great which is block. selfish. It's you Doggy again, is it? Oh, no, it's Basuma. It's Basuma. But good he had block. a lot of room. They're, they're leaving men up. So that's why every time we get the ball, it looks like we're going to cut through them. Oh, a little nut egg there. Lost out. Don't there. get complacent here, boys. No, no, no. 75th minute. Still a long way to go. Yeah, the Cocoms has just said it. It'll only take a Villa goal to change everything in, in the kind of stadium. 100%. Good stuff from Brennan. This is where I want to see that, you know, killer instinct. Go, go out and get the third. On, oh, lovely ball. Put him to bed. Come on, up and you Sonny's go. And Sonny's made a run to the left, and Deki's in on the right. Go on, so it Deke. comes to Deki. He's on his right foot. He's, sorry, he's cutting in on his left. Ben Tenkor's up with him here. Sonny's there on the left. 
Oh, yeah, that's a dig. That's He's a decision. dig. It goes over the bar. The I don't have a problem with that. No, though. I don't either. I don't have a problem. But Sonny, Sonny was does. there. <laughs> Sonny, oh, if I was Sonny, I'd be going, I'd be livid. Because Sonny was free there on the left. Kulu's got the ball in the middle and he's just had a pot shot from about 20 odd yards and it's gone over. But yeah, Sonny's in so no, much but, space No, but if you there. see the defender had covered the pass. So he, if he'd waited and played it inside the defender, sure. Yeah. Sure. 75 minutes gone. Villa being very brave here, to be fair to them. Yeah, they're still going at it with 10 men. And we are, as ever, leaving, not <laughs> leaving a lot of gaps at the back. So it's more frightening now than it was when, they had, when we had 11 men. Good block from uh, from Dragosheen. He's got in the balls, I think. Oh, no, and he's gone down. Yeah, I think he's just got one in the groin. Oh, OK. He'll be all right then. You're going to have to get hurts. up, mate, because yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. corner to Villa, and this is where they can be dangerous for sure. It hurts, but you've got to breathe, Dragosheen, and get up. Come on. Oh, he's hit him right in the in the cojones. Ooh, ooh. That's a nasty yeah, one. Yeah, but you've got to come back and find your man here, Dragu. That is a nasty come one. Come on, Radu. Ooh. Also, I want you to come and win this first ball, Radu. Yeah, come on. Get over the pace. Okay, so it's going to be an outswinger. the ball on your head. Come on, Radu. Costa with the outswinger coming He's in. He's arguing about the ball being on the line or this not. This is getting the fans into it. Come on, Spurs. Be strong here. Come, come on. on. It's along the ground. It's Terrible a bad corner. Hits Porro at the front stick. And Sonny now Sonny's pressing chasing the keeper, it down. Is it? Yeah. Martinez puts it back in the mixer. It's come up. Well won in the air. Oh, they've won it back outside the box. And they've got players through. Oh, Destiny does well. Get up. It's not a foul. Ref says no and foul for once. Decky on the march. That's that, a foul, ref. Yeah, that is a foul. Please but Decky gets back keep up. Going, he's, on, he's totally on his own. He's going to get fouled. Keep going, Decky. Just keep going. daniola has got no pace, actually, to chase him here. Ah, oh, but he did well. And then, he, yeah, and then Decky just, fouls him. Decky's pulled him back. But he's done well there, Decky. Just getting on top of the field. Agreed. Relieving a bit of the pressure. I'll get up. That's yeah. the first one for a while that the ref hasn't given, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. And actually could have given it. Can't drop off here, Spurs. Got to keep the press on. Make it hard for them. Yeah, there you go, Rodrigo. Well done, Poro. Uh, he tried to make Pedro. it. He's, he's done well, to though, Pedro, him. today. Yeah. yeah, he's been solid, hasn't he? Yeah. Very solid. 77 and it's gone. And like you said, that extra bit of pace that Porro has in comparison to Royale, it really does help you get out of trouble and get back for blocks. Yeah. Spurs are just losing a bit of intensity here for a couple of minutes. I think just trying to kind of... See the game out. But well, we're we're maybe giving it to them a bit too much. Give it to them and then hit them on the break, I think is the idea. And it's gone in, in behind Udogi, who cuts it back, but there's no one there and Porro deals with it. Man on, Biss. Well done. Well done. Well and done. There's that's so how easy space. it is. And Madden is, is in and finds Go on, Brennan. Sonny. Off you go. Sonny? And Brennan is making him a lovely little run, but he's been covered. Is it Sonny or Brennan? It's Sonny. Sonny Brennan's yeah. just inside Just him. inside, yeah. Well done. Well done. That's all right. Bit of possession now for Spurs. In the Villa half. Bentancourt keeping the ball moving. It's come over to Porro. Back to Romero. I actually, you know, I, I like this kind of lack of, lack of intensity when we've got the ball. I don't mind that, but it's when we're pressing. We, we just don't want to give them a, you know. You don't want to give them time on the ball. No. No, no. This is fine. This is fine. Playing but around. At some point, the Villa players are going to have to come out and try and uh, and try and nick the ball off us. And that's yeah. what we're waiting for, I yeah, think. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then, you know, when you have the runners and when they, when they pull, push out, that's when you play the through ball. We can knock it around like this for the next 10 minutes. It's fine. Yeah. No problem. This is what you see the top sides do as well, you know. When they get that lead, they're not letting people, teams get back in it. Yeah, completely agree. Great ball for Madders. Fantastic. Go on. Oh, oh unlucky, unlucky. Bit of a mix-up there. Yeah. But we had play we had a lot of players forward there. The, the third could be on the horizon here if we keep this play up. Yeah, but that's also just... Moreno's done well there. Gets out. Gets out. But oh. Kulu, keep tracking Stand back. Up, Christian. Don't stop. Great challenge by Romero, as usual. Fantastic yeah, challenge. Keep going. Yeah, I would keep, keep going, going with some intensity here because they've got no one back. Yeah. Sonny's in. Sonny's in. Oh, he's oh. giving it to Deck instead. And he's put so much on it. But anyway, Decky's at the byline. Come on, Decky. Pick something out. It's great Please. ball. Here we go. Oh, unlucky. It's a great block. Oh, Rodrigo's trying to do something so difficult there. And actually, it's let Villa out a bit, and he's gone long, but it's hit Biss. So hopefully, 
Well, Dragusin loses out to Watkins in the air, but Romero, Romero obviously, absolute class. Poro. And we're just slowing the game down here a bit, which is absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. You're two goals ahead. Give it out to Brennan. I'm re been really impressed by James Madison today, I must yeah. say. Yeah. Really impressed. Sonny. I asked him to step up, and he has. Yeah. That goal will give him huge confidence as well. Massive. Oh, it's a lovely ball from Bissouma to Brennan Johnson. Come He's on. He's up against Come Cash on, again. Come on, Brennan. Go on. I Skin think him. Inside. Skin him. Oh. Comes back. Haven't seen Werner yet, interestingly. No. Spurs still knocking it around in yeah. the Villa half. Gone back all the way to Dragusin. Romero here on the ball. He's looking for Biss. Biss to Bentancur. Back to Biss. And the Spurs fans chanting, is there a fire drill? As it comes out to Pedro <laughs> Parra. I love it. Who gets it into Sonny. Oh, Sonny! Oh, Why are you going to hit it first time, I got think? To, got to. It's a great ball in from Porro. Comes to Sonny's feet. He's ahead oh, of his lucky. man and He's... decides to take a touch rather than hit it first time. And I must say, Sonny looks absolutely knackered there as he, he does, rests yeah. on the floor. It Maybe... just came a little bit behind him, didn't it? Maybe it's time to, to give him a bit of a rest and get someone else. Oh, you could put Timo in the nine. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or you, yeah, you could even put Brennan in the nine and put Werner. But Sonny is coming deep sometimes and keeping the ball moving, which I, I quite like. So. Yeah, but I just want to keep him fit. You know, I just if I see. Course. They're huffing and puffing. I just think, you know. Oh, and they've given it away. Here we go. Oh, oh better ball than Sonny would, would have been in I there. I think Sonny was offside. Oh, Decky's just turned him beautifully. Now what? That's all right. Yeah, they're just keeping it. Why not? Yeah, they're looking for the ball. Wait till the ball's absolutely definitely on. Really mature play here by Spurs, just knocking it around the back. Yeah, totally. Not rushing it, keeping control, keeping possession. And Villa, I don't. It doesn't seem like they've got the legs to really try and get it off us at the moment. Uh, they look knackered. Well played, James. Yeah. You doggy on the ball, back to Biss. Biss back to Dragusin. Dragusin playing it to Romero. 82 minutes gone. And hopefully if this carries on for the next eight minutes, it might be one of those games where the refs just, I'm not going to give too many minutes here. Well, there haven't been that many stoppages as well. Maybe yeah. I'll give three minutes stoppage time maybe here. Maybe four max, but even that's pushing it. See, that is a that is a ball where what he's just played it into Bentica's feet and he's tried to flick it around the corner, but it wasn't really on and now we've given it away. Yeah, it's a, a shame, but Bentica working hard to get back. So that's good. Watkins. And we're still pressing here. Get over there, Brennan. Uh, see, this is where the danger is. This right-hand side with Diaby, who's taking on Destiny. There's no one in the box, though, and actually it's an unbelievable clearance. Does it go for a throw-in? I think it's just a corner, yeah. Just went out for a corner. I don't think a doggy thought that he had as much... that Diaby had pace as much pace as, as he yeah, did, as he and did. actually gave him too much space there. Yeah, you don't want to get let that ball come in. Yeah. Your doggy will learn though, you know, he's a young player still. He's he's got to realise that when he's up against different players in this league, there okay. will be some players that can outpace him. Of course. Him. Uh, but especially when he's coming off the bench, which I think was a big part of it. It's another mm. corner to Villa. Diaby is looking the most dangerous player on the pitch here. Spurs have to stay strong from these set pieces. Yeah. And it would be huge for us to get a clean sheet here ah! up at Villa Park. Why are you saying this before a corner? <laughs> We've been here before, I'm here. Do you know what? I'm just feeling confident today, Barnaby. And as I say that... Amazing save from Vicario. Oh, but has he taken a whack there? Unbelievable save from Vicario. Has he taken a whack? I'm worried. He's, yeah, he's taken a bit of a whack. But can we please not say anything about confidence or anything? Okay, okay. Just before corners okay. especially. Brilliant, can, your, huge your, save. Your suspicious side is... It uh, comes to the back, stick and... Zaniola volleys it, and then he gets a little clump of his head on the way down. Of course, that wouldn't be a foul because he's, all he's done is kicked him on the head. Ooh, he's still Vic. down, Vic. He's all right. He's getting up. He's getting up. He's, got some he's blood checking on him. for blood. Well, as we know, we've only got Brandon Austin on the bench. <laughs> I think he's okay. He's, he's remonst uh, Vicario is remonstrating with the ref. He's but got yeah. a little, a little bit of claret on the back of his head. A little cut on the back of his head. 
The Spurs it, have to be careful here because if we concede a goal here with five minutes to go, ten men or not ten men, the crowd will be so pumped. No, I hear you. I hear you. I hear that. It's it. Yeah, you want to close out the game professionally here, and I think look, we're seeing Hoiberg and Werner come on, and I think that's that's probably the right move. Werner can stretch the play a bit with his pace, and yeah. Hoiberg just adds a little bit of that solidity in the midfield. Yeah. I just really hope Big Vic's okay. Yeah. Uh, he'll be fine. Yeah, they'll patch him up. So concert. I don't know if you heard, but you know what a man Big Vic is. You know he went to the Barnet game to go see Keeley play, give him some pointers. No, I didn't. Know what that. a That's legend! Brilliant. What a legend! Honestly, he is fully coys that Big Vic, yeah. and I love it. Absolutely love it. What do you think about Werner? Do you think he's worth signing on? Yeah, board? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'd struggle to get another squad player like him okay. for less than about thirty million quid. Okay. It's interesting. I don't think by any, I don't think he's going to rip up trees for us, but in terms of, you know, options to bring on, absolutely. But it's whether he wants to come and play. He, they'll have to be honest with him and say, yeah, you know, realistically, you're not going to be starting yeah, you're every a squad game. Player. Yeah. So they've got they've got all the players on Vicario's on Vicario here for this there's corner. There's a lot of argy They're all going barging on. him around, and Johnson's trying to get in the way. But, and they put it on his head. And it's a good clearance at the front stick. Stop the volley. It's cash with a the header. There are lots of people offside Where's it. Oh, Vic's lost it here. Yeah, but they were all offside, surely. Wow, very, very... Yeah, a chance for Villa to get it in the box again here. Very shaky goalkeeping there by Vic. Maybe the, the bump on his head's affected him. Should have caught that. Yeah, he was under, under pressure. But anyway, he they've was. gone all the way back he to was. Martinez. And Sonny is pressing Martinez oh, well. What pressure. Great. Good Sonny pass never again out to running. Diaby on the right. He's going to take you on there, Brennan. He's going to take you on. He's going to take you on, Brennan. Jesus Christ, if Don't I can see it. Don't let the ball in. Okay, and Madders does well, gets it to Destiny. Can you open your legs Off here, you Destiny? Go. Off you go, Destiny, that's it. That's a ref. foul. Come on, That ref. is a foul. That is a foul. And they're going to give them the, the, the throw in. Subs coming on here. Who do you think it will be, Mir Madison? Madison coming off of Werner. And Hoiberg, I would have thought Bissouma? Or maybe... Uh, Amazing. They're just showing the Madison goal again. Amazing cross from Saar and Madison just with a brilliant run. And Johnson coming off as well, is it? Must, must be. What Fantastic finish by Johnson, honestly. By miles the best he's played on the left yeah. this season he and arguably maybe his best of game of the season as well. Well done, Johnson. Well done. Yeah, give him one well of my little done. stars. Give Madders one of my little stars. And Pierre comes on. And the star boy got a star as well, didn't he? Star boys have got star already. Come on, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Come on. Okay, balls back with Martinez. And Sonny's now. still pressing oh, as if yeah. it's the second minute. That's uh, all right. Decky has just absolutely ploughed right. through uh, Dina there. I think it is. My, no, dina has gone off. Sorry, it's Carlos. Is it? Is it Moreno? Maybe it's Moreno. Yeah, sorry. Oh, and they're going long here, Villa. But that should be straight in the keeper's throat. Oh no! I tell you what, Watkins has taken it down beautifully. Good touch. Chance here for Villa. That's all right. That's all right. He's, he's gone for the cross and it's gone out. Come on, Spurs. Just play, play smart. Play smart. 88 minutes gone now. Vic gives it to Dragushin, who goes back to Vic. Uh, it's on his goal line. Gives it out to... Oh, wow. Well played, Unbelievable though. Unbelievable composure. Good there, football Sean now. Lowe Pierre, Lowe. just do it nice and easy. Beautiful. And he does. One more. That's it. It's good stuff from Spurs between That's the it. lines. There's so much space here. All we need to do is knock it around. That's it. And it's Sonny, I think, using a bit of captain's experience here, coming deep to just say, let's just knock it around. Yeah. There's not going to be much stoppage time. There wasn't a lot of um, injuries or, you know, long VAR checks. Yeah. They've been, I guess, two VAR checks over there. Pierre! Oh, oh my days. God. Oh, my. Don't oh, and then he's just running Pierre. through the middle. He's Magical. actually just turned it on. Magical play there by Pierre. Sonny! Kulu! Oh. It's a corner. Good block, to be fair. I'll tell you what. So, Pierre, the real, reason I shouted is Pierre Mil Hoiberg oh. took too much time on the ball. Then Cruyff turns his man, runs down the middle of the pitch, plays a lovely ball out to Sonny, who plays... Not the right ball, but it bounces to Kulisevsky, gets a shot away, and it's a good block. It goes to a corner. I would just keep this in the corner, to be honest. The away fans absolutely loving this, and why not? 
But you've got to give it to Hoiberg. He did well in the end. He was brave, braver than I wanted him to be. My heart was in my mouth when he did that quote. <laughs> he had know, three what, players around him. What are you doing it there for as well in the 90th minute? But no, fair but Andrew will love it, won't he? Andrew would love it. Andrew would love it. And so did I. Come play on. it short. Come on, Pierre. 10 mm. seconds, 15 seconds of normal time to go. Dragushin gets it out to Poro, who's been on the ball so much today. Always a willing option. Romero now has the ball. Gets it back to Poro, who I'm sure will get it to Deki and does and makes and him a nice going. run. Well done. Well oh, done. Decky's, Decky's in, in behind. He might go to Bentenko here, who's absolutely free. Sonny! And it's three! Come on! As I said in the first half, if you give Sonny a chance, he's, he will take he's it. He's going to bury it. And now I'm willing to say this has been an absolute battering. Villa have been embarrassed. I've been saying all week how lucky minutes, they were though. in the first Ten game. It's stoppage time, though, Barnaby. Oh, well, then it could end up being five. <laughs> Ten I want minutes do. added time from somewhere. Anyway, lovely stuff. Gets into Decky down the right. Picks Come out on. Sonny on the half volley. It just bounces up. Plows through it into the roof of the net. This has been a completely one-sided performance from Tottenham Hotspur. Incredible. And back to what we saw in those first 10 games. Put Villa in their box. Yep. And they are not going to enjoy this last 10 minutes, I'll tell you that. What great wing play here by Kulu, huh? Brilliant. It's the perfect ball. And you see, he could have played in Bentancourt, but he was like, I thought he's he, going to yeah. finish it. I thought he was going to play in Bentancourt here. Because Bentico's completely free, but he, he just picks Sonny. him out he beautifully. He sees Sonny in the perfect position on that Sonny just cuts spot. across the ball with his right foot and it's just puts so much pace on it. Martinez, finish. no chance. It's a phenomenal finish. It's the finish of a world-class striker. Take well the done, picture, Sonny. Sonny. Take the picture. Come on. What a week of podcast listening this is going to be. Oh, <laughs> Barnaby, I can't wait. Sonny can't goes wait up to fifth in the all-time record goal scores of Tottenham Hotspur. 159 goals. Oh, he's chasing down Chivers, eh? Oh, Pierre has just knocked the Villa player off the ball, and we're Nothing back in. It. Come on. Timo Werner. Let's get the fourth. Chance to run at his man. We've got to close the goal, dis uh, goal, goal. difference on, on Villa. They beat someone huge, didn't they? They had a big win. Yeah, they had like an eight, eight didn't they? I don't know if it was eight, but they, they had a big win. Seven Good ball from Dragosheen into Bissouma now. There's so much space on this pitch. Was it Sheffield? <laughs> and we're in again here. Sonny's Sonny. in. He's, he needs someone he's with got, him. He's got Brennan. Oh. Yeah, he needs someone with him there. He's, he's taken a oh, shot from Werner, too far sorry. out yeah, there. Yeah, Werner on the other side. Didn't get hold of it. You all right, Sonny? Yeah, he's all right. But this is where Scarlett, for me, could get a few minutes. Yes, maybe now. Yeah, you know. Eight minutes to eight go. Eight minutes to go. Yeah. And Sonny, you know, he needs a bit of rest. Come on. I love it when the Spurs fans sing the la-la-la-la, your shit to Hey Jude. It's so fun. <laughs> haven't heard it for a while, to be honest. Are you West Ham in disguise are singing now? <laughs> That's a good one. I went to Villa Park once to watch an away win. It was It's a glorious place to uh, to win. And also, Villa have beaten us last three games. All of, all of Emery's games against us have ended in wins for them. And so this is important. This is big time revenge. Big time. This is the revenge I wanted at the start. You know, seeing Matty Cash stretch it off, it wouldn't do anything for me. But coming home from Villa Park with three points... And hopefully, touch wood, a clean sheet here. Yeah. I think is massive for us going forward. Huge. Absolutely massive. Huge. The only negative that I can take from this performance. Mickey. Yep. But there is an international break in two weeks' there time. Is, there is, there is. So if it was a month, he might only miss kind of one game. If, it's like, if it was a three-weeker. And it, it definitely didn't look as bad as the first one. I no. think hopefully they've just been really careful with him. I mean, if they let him go out in the second half... Because we saw they were, if you didn't see, they were warming Dragushin up at half time. So they knew that there was something. Yeah, they knew. Well, let's see. Let's see what the the diagnosis is. Andrew will tell us, I'm sure. I'm a bit gutted because last Sunday I went out and got really drunk. And actually it wrote off my Monday. But now I want to do that this Sunday. But I can't write off another month. I just can't. <laughs> I can't let it happen. But this is the kind of result and get and performance where... Beautiful I should be play. out all night, basically. Beautiful play yeah. here again. In down the left with Benton Cook. Benton Cook. Cuts it back to Sonny, who's driving at the defence. He's going at him. Um, he's got to cut it back, I think. Werner, and it's four! Timo! Timo! I think you heard me say around three minutes ago, this could end up being 5-0, and we are waltzing through this embarrassment of a club. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only, sorry, I'm only saying all this because I've been getting so much abuse from Villa fans on my videos. I actually think Villa are really good, but yeah, um, good side, this has been a top side. performance from Spurs. This is... This and has been Timo, 2-2, two two, a great is, finish. It's the best we've played since Burnley, in my opinion. 
Fantastic. He, Sonny lays it back to him. And first time, because he's confident because he got his goal last week, he just popped it. Just pops it just into the far it. corner. Just showing the replay now. And shot Sonny again, showing his class. You know, look, he's turned in. He's seen Werner, put it on a plate for him. He said, that there you go. That is an incredibly difficult finish. That is an incredibly difficult skill. It is. It is. Just, this is the kind of finish he did for Leipzig against Spurs. Beautiful. Turbo Timo with the fourth. Boom. Fantastic. Fantastic. Villa emptying more and more. And still five minutes to go. And let's get another one. Let's close that goal difference. Come on. <laughs> Emery giving it some of this. Mate. Don't know. Look, we've got the ball again by the looks of things. Come on. Yep, Decky on the right. Villa just giving it to us. I appreciate that. They've absolutely We're hungry lost for it. more here. Rodrigo in the box. He's running down a bit of a blind, blind alley there. It's cut back nicely. Gives it back to Pedro Porro, who has been under... Uh, I'm going to give him a little star, actually. I think he's been excellent, mm, Pedro. He has. It's just uh, got a little bit of cramp there. Should be all right. And I think I think Loki Basuma's had a good game. I know he, he played one bad pass, but that that key ability of that number six to take it on the half turn, rather than with Pierre, and I'm not no no shade to Pierre, but he's always facing the other way. Mm -hmm. Takes it on the half turn, opens up the whole game for us, especially against these teams who press us. Welcome to the men's room, Villa fans. I think Biss has been vital to this performance, actually. I think he's, he, his um, ability, like you said, to get on that half turn, to advance the ball, and to break up the play, he's made some really important challenges. Yep. And when he's got Saar there to help him out as well, those two are a fantastic combination. Oh, totally. Saar broke up the play so well today. I'm yep. really impressed by those two. Really impressed. Assume it. Does he get enough on that? Oh, it's a shame. Yeah. It looked a bit too cultured. He tried the big switch to Timo, who's now pressing hard. Yeah, this is great by Tottenham. Still pressing on, in the 97th minute. Just so you know, now that it's 4-0, you can say anything you want. Like, my superstition is gone. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah? It's Okay, gone. Just, just, just to make sure. We're coming home with three points today, Barnaby, yeah? I feel confident. Good. I good. feel confident that good, even good, good. even Spurs can't. And what about a clean sheet? Even old Spurs can't. Are we going to get the clean sheet? I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> Vic would be Vic would be gutted at this point. He if we would. Didn't. He would. Gone Radu. And he oh, the little it. back header from Dragu. The defence really does deserve it here, and that that for me is where big things are won. And yeah. if that's if they can show us more of this solidity going into the end of the season, I think it will really put us in good stead for next season. I was going to say this earlier. Actually, this has been almost like the perfect situation for Dragushin to come in, not for Van der Ven, obviously, but in terms of getting minutes in a game where, well, what's happened off the ball there? Is that Son who's gone down? sonny has gone down off the ball there, holding his eye. Uh-oh. But uh, in terms of what I was saying about Dragushin, just like perfect in terms of some space on the ball, getting to know how it all works out. Oh, he's just shouldered him in the face. Yeah. That's nasty. Yeah. You don't, you don't do that to Sonny. You just don't. It's mean. Oh, so they're giving the man of the match now. He's giving it to Son for a goal and two assists. Let me just write down the goals. So the first one was... The first one was Madison. Madders, Johnson. Then Sonny and then Werner. Son... Timo. But two assists for Sonny as well. One for uh, Saar and one for Kulu as well. Yeah. I think it's just been, uh, to a man, I think they've all played brilliantly. Yeah, I agree. Real team performance here. And all the subs that have come on have really impressed me as well. Yeah. Dragusin's been quality yeah. since he's come on. Pierre-Emile Cruyff, he's done well, hasn't he? <laughs> Do you know what? At 4 0 up, if he had done it, it would have been all right. But wasn't it still at 2 that he did <laughs> Yeah, it was a 2 0, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely cacked my pants. Oh, my days. Come on, let's push for one more. Why not? Poro just played it back there to Bentancourt. Werner's in here on the left again. He is. Oh, there's a bit too much on it. He's just got to it, no, but the ball's just, just gone not. out. It's just gone out. I think this shows again how unfortunate it was that we absolutely ruined ourselves against Chelsea because this mm. is basically the first team and they've been great. Yeah. They've been great. They've been phenomenal. Phenomenal. 
into the last minute now. Don't forget, guys, there will be the instant match reaction after the show and then the call-in watch... Uh, what am I saying? The live call-in show after that. So all details in the description box. Give us a call. Do press that like on here. Press subscribe for We Are Tottenham TV. And give my channel, the, the Spurred On podcast, uh, a little subscribe as well. And follow Amir at Tottenham on Tour. Indeed. There we Indeed. go. Oh, is there going to be one more chance? Come Pierre on, one Emil more, Hoiberg one more. Go on. Through. Oh, it's going to be a I'm corner. We have time to take this corner. At uh, Villa Park, absolutely empty. Spurs yeah. have ripped Villa to shreds. In the second half, mm. all in the second half. Very, very. That's impressive. the end. Aston Villa nil, Tottenham Hotspur four. We will be with you for the live post-match reaction in just a second. Come on, you Spurs. Come on. Hi guys, welcome back to We Are Tottenham TV. It is the live post-match reaction show from Aston Villa, nil, Tottenham Hotspur for men against boys in, and I quote, having read a John McGinn article this week, one of the biggest games in Aston Villa's recent history. And Tottenham Hotspur have gone up there and pissed all over them. I'm here with Amir from Tottenham on Tour. We watched it together in the live watch along on We Are Tottenham TV. I mean, what is there to say other than just an unbelievably impressive performance from Spurs? The word that comes to mind is mature. Yeah. That was a mature display by Tottenham. All the things that I've been wanting to see in games previous, I've seen in this one, and it just gives me that extra bit of confidence going forward. The fact that we got the clean sheet, we kept our heads, we didn't let the whole cash injury Bentancourt situation get on top of us. We even went in nil-nil at half time really needing to step on the gas and, and start getting the goals. But we didn't panic. We didn't get flustered. Yeah. We kept playing our game. And eventually we got the breakthrough through Madison. And, and from then on, it was it was all Spurs. I think Villa, Villa fans will try and point to John McGinn getting sent off as an important part sure. of this game. But we were already 2-0 up at that stage yeah. anyway, as I remember it. Yeah, yeah. And also, for me, I was talking all through the first half about how I was so impressed with the way Tottenham Hotspur had come to the game and just put their front foot all over it. Really kind of, it was only in the second half that they really, uh, in the second half of the second half, they really put their foot on the throat of Aston Villa, but they bossed the game. They had all the possession, front foot, and Villa actually, and you mentioned this in the first half, Unai Emery chose to change the way they play to try and counteract Ange Ball. And that just played into our hands, I thought, because they were stuck between kind of two, you know, they were stuck between, do we play the high line or are we playing kind of deep five at the mm. back? And actually it just gave us so much space in midfield. And I've got my like magic stars against five players here, but I think to a man, we all played seven out of 10 or more. And um, Sky in the end gave uh, man of the match to Xiong Min Song because he scored one goal and two assists. But I would like to say Mickey van der Ven before he went off with a worrying hamstring injury just looked like arguably one of the best defenders in the Premier League. It's just such a good player. Uh, but also Pat Matasar who went off on, on 70 minutes. You, you were waxing lyrical about him today. Yeah, indeed. I thought he was so vital in that midfield. You know, you, you see the difference when he's in there. Uh, he's just all over the pitch. He, he's... He's just phenomenal, and and the ball in for Madison, you know, mm. that shows that he's an elite player. Yeah, you know, he put it on a dime for him. Madison just had to get his foot on it, and it was one nil. So really phenomenal play by Saar. I think the only reason he's gone off is because he's had this little niggling. He's got a, ba problem. a back injury. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's the reason he's come off. Um, it's r this is probably the hardest match to pitch him pick a match of the man oh uh, man, man of, of the yeah. match sorry yeah. a man of the match and um yeah i'm not I, i'm not sure who i'd give it to could go to to any number of them. Any number of them. Yeah, I want to give a little shout out to Brennan Johnson. So Brennan Johnson started on the left today. He's had a few games where he's been the super sub, getting assists and goal from the uh, from the substitutes bench. And today he started on the left. And in my kind of pre-match chat, I talked about how I've not really been impressed with Johnson on the left. But from the first minute today, I think maybe the confidence from that rest he's had and the few games he's had coming off the bench really showed because he, he, he was driving at Matty Cash hard all game, really working him hard. And uh, he got his goal. He scored the second goal today. Lovely finish. Like, got Beautiful. some height on it to get it past Emi Martinez, who's a big old bloke. And uh, I just wanted to say I was incredibly impressed with him. And I've been saying all season he's a raw, rough diamond. But he is showing me enough to think that he can be a real player for Tottenham Hotspur in the long term. 100%. 100%. Phenomenal performance. Um, <laughs> and honestly, you know, when you're looking at overall this game, and you're thinking about 
where we are as a team. To go to a place like Villa Park to get a clean sheet yeah. and to come home with all three points in a six-pointer where you're battling for Champions League, I think really does show the growth in, in where we're at. Not just in the Ange ball process, but also in the development of the players. You're really asking the players to step up. Your Basuma, key role in there, you know, sweep, sweeping things up behind that defence, not letting, breaking up the play. Yep. He did fantastically. Yep. Moving the ball on, getting us on the attack as well. R done absolutely phenomenally. And all the players that came off the bench as well, to a man, yep. did really, really well. Timo didn't let it get it down that he wasn't in the, in the first 11. He came on, got his goal. F fantastic Dragusin although you know we, we wouldn't have liked to see him ideally we would have wanted Mickey van der Ven on but when he was called 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 up on he, he had about half an hour on the pitch yeah he did didn't, well didn't put a foot wrong in yeah. my eye um, so that would be massive for him as well it's huge it's huge getting the whole the, unfortunately football is not an 11 player game anymore it's a 25 man squad game and if you want to win things you look at the best teams they all have uh, togetherness within the squad and I think that's what Ange has really worked at this season he's got it going he's got it purring you can see the players all fighting for each other when uh, the challenge came in on you doggy and McGinn got sent off what I liked more than all of it more than the charge up the pitch more than the John McGinn getting sent off it was the fact that Johnson, they went to yeah, back Yeah, Johnson it. went right they in on They were him. all fighting for each other, and that's what I want to see. I can remember yeah. Spurs of old and someone getting, you know, cleaned out and them just walking yeah. on. Yeah. So this shows me is a huge improvement in that in that morale yeah. it, within the squad. Players are hungry. Players are coming off the bench. Instead of moaning, they're happy to get their minutes, and they're doing the business. Werner getting his goal. Overall, uh, just a phenomenal Sunday, and I think... Yeah. Having it the early kickoff, they were probably raring to go all weekend. You know, they were ready for this one. Yeah. And I'm just really impressed. Hat, hat goes off to all the players today, man for man. And a big, huge, huge, huge congratulations to Ange Postacoglu, who out tacticed yeah. the ta masterclass tactician in Emory. Yeah. So big up to Ange as well. Yeah, completely agree. I just want to I just want to say so the goal scorers were Madison with the first from that brilliant cross from Saar and then Johnson with the great finish and then Sonny and Timo Werner with an unbelievable finish at the end. Their yeah. first time showing that his confidence is up as well, which would be huge for us. I want to mention something that I haven't been able to say because our, our our form hasn't been that good and we've been struggling against these 11 man behind the ball low block teams. But People look at Spurs' um, fixture list in April and are like, oh, that's going to be difficult. I look at that fixture list in April and say, we are going to have a huge say in this title race. If you look at any of those teams that we're playing in April, Newcastle, Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Arsenal. right? Do you think they're going to want to play Spurs like this? No. The teams that come at us, the teams that open up, the teams that press high, I tell you, we are going to have a huge say in it, and I back us to win a couple of those those games at least. We are going to have a huge say in that title race, and I mentioned it earlier. Once again, it's such a shame that we lost those players to suspension and injury against uh, against Chelsea, because when we've got that kind of first eleven together, they are We're so scary. hard to play We're against, scary. and they've got the experience as well as the kind of skill and style and swagger to find those, their way through moments in those games, and uh, I think. You know, look, I'm not saying the next game, I think it's Fulham away, is it Fulham, next? Yeah. I'm, that's not going to be an easy game. But we are looking unbelievable when we've got all of our players in. We are, we are. And and for me, the key there is that back, is what I call the back five. Yeah. With Basuma sat there behind them, when you have those players there and they know how to play with each other, they know each other's game, they know what they want from each other, it gives that stability to the team. And I think it shows because we've got the clean sheet. I can't even remember the last clean sheet. Well, maybe it was Burnley in the cup or something. But, you know, that defence plus Basuma with Big Vic at the back yeah. should really be challenging now to, to push on, get more clean sheets and, and, and not give away as many big chances. Today, what, what really impressed me as well um, with the defence was the blocking of shots. Yes. They did really, really well just managing to recover and not letting the shot get into Vic, which I think is phenomenal. You stop those shots coming in. Um, they were all working for each other. And I, I think, again, Christian you, Romero, yeah. 
unbelievable performance. You, you mentioned the togetherness, and actually that's a yeah. good example. There were times where they were blocking shots and getting balls out for corners and stuff, and they were all giving it the big cheers yeah, and stuff, big. which didn't feel performative to me. It felt like actually they're it working on this stuff every day, and it's huge. They know as a defensive back line that they're going to give up chances because of yes. the way that we play. So it's about body on the line. Body on what the line. can you do? And, and then cheer each other and, uh, make, and make the most of it. And talking about body on the line, Dragusin really put his body on the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That rocket of a shot that hit him in the... He got it, one in the groin. Oof. And, and he got up from it and, I, and then you know defended the corner. So yeah, hats off to those guys. Coming back from a clean sheet from Villa is huge. Yeah. And what we were sat here asking at the beginning of the game, if you go back, you know, we were looking for us to be clinical. And I don't think we were clinical. I think we were surgical today. Surgical. I think we were surgical. You look at the finish. Johnson, phenomenal, right? He could have easily blazed that over. Yeah, We've oh yeah, seen yeah, him yeah. miss yeah, yeah, easier yeah. chances. Buried it. Werner, very difficult chance. First time, bang. Back of the net. Sonny, I mean, <laughs> just makes yeah. it look easy, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. And again, James Madison, although he only had to get his boot on it, he was in the right place at the right time got the finish and uh, yeah we were lethal today we've talked about how Pat Matassar came in for uh, Rodrigo Bentancur and it was definitely the right decision his legs gave us everything and also his cross for the goal was unbelievable he's just a highly I think underrated player but still what 20 21 yeah. scary yeah, scary, scary potential scary how good he is. and how, you know he can become Vieira-esque once he fills out he can do anything he wants I think but I think also the other change was absolutely vital and a man who was kind of low-key massively brilliant and important today, Pedro Porro. Yeah. Just, you, you talked about that back five. For me, what I saw for the first time in a long time today, going back to those early games, like I was at the Liverpool game early in the season. Mm. And what I loved about it was the way that Porro and Udogi and Bissouma and the two centre halves pop these little balls between them and then into Madison and Madison comes and helps and they're popping these little five, 10 yard balls almost like arrogantly. Yeah. It's almost arrogant, but it drags the other team apart. It moves their their positions around and it creates that's space. space. Yeah. And that's what Poro brought again. And we've missed him a little bit. Royal has done a good job, but keeping that five together, I agree with you, massively it's important. It's so important, it's so important. And when you have that stability, you also, you envision where the player's gonna be. So, you know, if, if, if Kulu's making a run, Poro already knows he can, they can knock it up. Yeah. And the same thing with Udogi, you, you know, when Johnson's there on the wing and Udogi's behind him, he knows what Udogi's gonna do, cut in and try and charge up the pitch, or he knows to go already. And I think you're seeing things click now a lot more. In the games that we were frustrated, you know, your Wolves, your Brightons, where we were frustrated, I don't think we had the players there that were all versed enough in Angeball that can do it. But when you have these guys, it just looks, a lot more fluid, yeah. a lot better, and and do you think you can see then why? Continue. Sorry to drop, but you can see then why uh, in an interview just the other day, uh, I think it was like the kind of embargoed part of his press mm. conference, and was asked, "Oh, would you spend a hundred million pounds on a player?" And he mm. said, "Actually, I would rather spend fifty million pounds on two players. two players." And then he went on to say, "Listen, this project is not going to get." Uh, my squad is not going to get sorted fully in just three transfer windows. It's going to take more time. And actually, when you see a performance like that today, I can totally understand it more because you're like, actually, we need players who can slot in each time to who are able to do what Poro does, what Udogi yes, does, yes. And, and what the other players do, right? So uh, it's going to take time. There's still going to be difficult ups and downs and, and pages. But today, I think, was a perfect example of what, at our best, what we are going to be capable of for the next two, three, four years in these huge games. Don't forget, this was a huge game for Tottenham Hotspur Massive. today. Massive game. Massive. We could have gone eight points behind Villa and, they, you know, everyone would be laughing at us. But we've gone there and we've made a huge it's a statement. statement. It's a statement. And exactly, that's the word, Barnaby. It's a statement victory. It's not a, you know, 1-0 or 2-1. I, I predicted a hell to scale to 3-2. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, yeah. Boy, was I wrong. Um, so that shows huge, huge maturity um, all, all over the pitch. And it, it's a statement win and a huge building block. Yeah. We can really go in and, and really try and cement our place as fourth. Um, got Fulham coming up, Luton, very tough games. They'll, they'll come at us, they'll give it to us. And we know Luton battle until the end. They got yeah. a draw yesterday. Um, so 
I think this will really give the players confidence. I think Fulham will come at us, though. I think. Do you we're, we're, yeah, I, I think the way Marco Silva plays, I don't mm. think he'll try and shut it up shop. I'd be very surprised anyway, and I think it could suit us. But mm. let's see what happens. I, so. I've actually predicted two all in the last two games, so whatever happens, I'm predicting two all for that Fulham game as well because we win whenever I predict two all. So, yeah, but keep before, going. Keep exactly. Going. Before we go, Amir, <laughs> I'm going to ask you to make the difficult decision. Who was your man of the match today? It's so hard. I knew this question was coming. Um... Here, have a little look at my book and my little stars. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, while you're thinking about it, I'm gonna say it just because of the abuse that he suffered today. And this might be a bit controversial, but look, okay. it's only my opinion. I'm gonna give it to Brennan Johnson. I think he was put in a position where he's not always looked that comfortable. He doesn't usually, I wouldn't say it's his favorite position, but he showed the confidence that he hasn't had. And therefore I'm gonna say to him, well done, you're my man of the match. I hear that and I love it. I love it that you're giving it to Johnson. Um, I'm with you on it. I just think that SARS ball playing within that midfield, it was so crucial to win that midfield yeah. battle. And then for his, for his assist, that ball to Madders was just unbelievable. I'm just putting SAR there, even though he was only on the pitch for 70 minutes. I think he was phenomenal. And I think sometimes fans, maybe not just fans, but people in general in football, you can can kind of you know go for the for the, for the big you know, the goal scorers, yeah. the assisters, the, but sometimes it's the work that you're doing off the ball that is so undervalued. And I think Saar was absolutely phenomenal today. Uh, completely and, yeah, agree. Just gets it for me. Yeah, good decision. Completely agree. Uh, let us know in the comment section who you thought was man of the match, what your thoughts were on the game. Don't forget, do press subscribe to We Are Come Tottenham on. TV if you're not subscribed already. Give this video a like. Also, go over to Tottenham on Tour to find Amir and his content on Spurs. I'm at the Spurred On podcast, but you can find the link in the description box there on the title, sorry. But most importantly, after a 4 0 win at Villa Park, what a performance. Come on, you Spurs. Hey! <laughs>